Hey Eurovision fam, it's Alicia Michelle. I'm so excited because, you know, I'm finally able to say, we've made it. Yeah, we made it. I can't believe it. We're already here and you know what? I guess I need to just, you know, for, for one last time, one last time, let's give it up for the song. Are you ready for the show? <laughs> Channel. What's up, guys? How are you doing today? Oh, look, my mic is off. Um, can you guys hear me okay? Because I am a pain. Busy, busy. Um, yeah, Lily. So, yeah, this is what happens when you're not, you know, in your home studio. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This is what happens when you're not in your home studio. Basically, I was all good, everything was working fine. And then it wanted to get on another internet. Like, and I was like, no, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. I was having that. that same issue on Tuesday. That's why I had to give up. Okay. Well, you know, I think, you know, where I kind of left off, and, and I wanted to show folks, I mean, y'all should just see where we're at. So I'm going to pull you down so then y'all can get a look. Let's like, like, can we spotlight it a little bit? I don't know. I don't think I can. But see, yeah, this is the setup that we've got here. There's tons of folks here. I'm also outside. Um, yeah, like there's tons of folks here, tons of American Eurovision fans. And I wanted to um, bring in a little bit. We had some special performances because, you know, I couldn't just do a run of the mill like watch party because I could have done that. I could have done like a run of the mill watch party, but that would have been less fun, right? That would have been less fun, wouldn't have been as interesting. And so here, let me, I'm gonna set up this. Okay, Trowell says, we see and hear you both. Yeah, you know, this is what happens when you're not in your home studio, but I couldn't just be sitting in my home and keeping Eurovision to myself. You know what I mean? I couldn't just keep it to myself. I had to, I had to expand. So um, let me, I'm gonna bring someone in a little bit and I'm actually gonna show a little bit of the setup because we, this is like my broadcasting cabana is what I'm calling this, my broadcasting cabana. And so here we go. So I've got, I've got this, yeah. And so in my broadcasting cabana currently, okay. I'm like, I'm like trying to be camera woman and host. Here we go. All right. Okay, so I've got Electra G with me in the broadcasting VIP cabana. Okay, so you didn't know about Eurovision. Did you Google it after your performance? I most definitely did, cause I was like, Eurovision, y'all made it sound like it was so like exciting and something like you have to see. So I was like, okay, let me go Google it and find out what's, what the tea is. I was like, oh, this is very interesting. I love the staging and like the production and everything. It's giving very, um, 
Beyonce at the Super Bowl. <laughs> I mean, yes, Beyonce at the Super Bowl is a very good reference because that's the scale yeah. of Eurovision. A lot of people just think, oh, you know, like, okay, so it's some people and they think, well, maybe if it's unknown artists, like, right. you know, it'll be sort of stripped back. But like, this is a full like, production, full scale production show. So did you listen to any of the songs from this year? Are there no, any? I didn't get a chance to listen to any of the songs. I didn't get a chance to listen to any of the songs this year yet. But I'm definitely going to go back. I saw uh, yesterday when we were watching semifinals, there were a couple songs. I was like, oh, I like this song. Um, I think you said it was Armenia. She, I liked the song she was performing. And then the last guy, I can't remember before we left, he had the hat, the like big brimmed hat, and he brought the, the vulgar. Belgium. Belgium. Gustav. Mm -hmm. Gustav. Yeah. So. All right. Well, thank you so much for gracing us with your presence and giving us the time and allowing and being open to Eurovision, being open to the prospect of Eurovision. Um, we're building fans. We're building fans little by little. Thank you so Get much. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, we're going to have this. You know, let's uh, let's kind of go through some things. Like, who do you think is most likely to be, um, what would I say? Um, who is most likely to have the viral hit of Eurovision 2023? What do you think, Lily? And what do y'all think? Viral hit? I'm going to have to say... Oh goodness, it's going to have to be in English. I would say Finland has the most viral, which is based solely off of how extravagant the city is. But the silk thing, probably still very Yeah, I'm thinking, if I'm thinking, I, like honestly, I think Croatia is going to have legs. I think people are going to be talking yeah. about Croatia. I think people are going to be sharing it. I think there's going to be elements of that performance that we're going to see sort of memefied and, and made viral, so to speak. So I do think that Croatia has an opportunity to really um, make a dent. I'd say the other country I probably have my eyes on, I think, I, I say, I think the other country that I have my eyes on um, to maybe make a dent on the stage would be... Um, yeah, would be, uh, I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking to myself, um, I, I wonder if Armenia might get a hit again. I mean, I'd be perfectly okay Just, I'm not gonna just the song better. itself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, just the song itself. Um, do you, um, hold on real quick. Hold on. Yeah, um, I mean, I can see, I can see uh, Josh Keenan here is giving us his, you know, 50 cent, his two cents in about this. Uh, Finland based off the of visuals, but Austria, Croatia, Slovenia can do well as well. Honestly, I'm not mad at any of those options. I can really see. I think people are kind of hungry for rock music again and having another rock band to flash on to so I can definitely see the general public giving Slovenia some love, you know. Yeah, I, I, Josh, I like this comment. Finland, based off the visuals, I agree. But I always wondered about Finland because I'm like, technically, it's already kind of been out there. Like, it's already been in the ether. And so in my mind, I was kind of thinking, well, if it was going to go viral, wouldn't it have already happened? But of course, if we think about the way that Eurovision is, there maybe is like a little bit of latency, so to speak. Um, so yeah, so I, I think it is still possible for some of the songs that we've already had possibly to make a dent. I think I said, when someone asked me a couple of months ago, I pretty much comfortably said, I was like, yeah, Austria, I've got my eye on to possibly go viral. And and I think with Slovenia, I just think that that song could catch on. I, like, I wouldn't even say like viral as like a yeah. TikTok thing. I just think the song could really catch on with folks. And the other thing with uh, Slovenia is we have to remember there's an English version out there too of Prep Deal. Really Even though it's not the best, but you know. And then so Das Mystery Man one, thank you. Happy Eurovision final, everyone. My prediction of the top five in no particular order. Sweden, Finland, Spain, Israel, Slovenia. Well, and thank you for watching and, and thank you um, for the donation and everything. But yeah, I I'm still living in a world where Sweden could win. But off of that jury show, I'm not gonna lie, off the jury show. I could see maybe Sweden, like I could almost see juries being a little bit like, oh, well, people are just going to think we're going to vote for Sweden. How are you doing? So then they just put her second. <laughs> to a certain degree. Should I yell at the bartender? Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. Yeah. No, you're all good. Ask them, um, 
they've been having yeah. a volume about when the women's actually on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm, a, yeah. I'm gonna guess we're gonna put over there. I was so um, so we've got Trow rooting for Albania to finish high. Um, hello, Victor. David H., who is your daughter voting for? Well, we all know my daughter would be rooting for Croatia, but she doesn't have a credit card, so she won't be voting for anyone. And I'm, I don't know if I'm in the place of where I want to spend or waste any of my 40 points um, on her with love. But you know what? It's something kids need something to look forward to. All right, so this is now something <laughs> that she will just, you know, have to look forward to. All right, all right. Um, okay, uh, yeah, and Albania. How do you think Albania is going to do, Lily? Um, I think they'll do decently. I, but at the same time, I kind of feel like Albania is going to be in a neutral spot, kind of like the teams. In the end, it's just, it's like where they get to the field. Um, Multi Sky has a question. Alicia, was there something wrong with um, Boyan's mic yesterday? I don't, I, not that I was hearing or recalled. Actually, you know what? I'm not lying. What it was was it seemed like the sound was coming through the arena, but perhaps not coming through to the speakers, but it was like a blip. But I remember that. But you could kind of hear it like in the arena. It just was as if. It was as if, like, it was like another mic picking it up, not the mic that was in his hands. But I, I don't think that that will it was so brief hurt Slovenia at all. Yeah. Oh, okay, we're getting started. Okay, we're getting started. All right, I'm going to go on mute for, like, five seconds. All right, um, Lusitanium says, hi, Alicia, I'm nervous for Portugal. I'm not. Honestly, Portugal just needed to make it in the final. And that's how I felt. And I also felt like once Portugal was in the final, even if the televote doesn't really show up for Portugal, I believe that the juries will. I just don't see a world where the juries just show no love to Portugal. Um, especially when we, I guess we have all these new theories and thoughts and stuff like that where it's like, oh, you know, uh, the juries really make up their mind early. So maybe not a bad thing for Portugal to be in the first half. But I even think that that song is so joyful. I just couldn't see it getting like zero from the televote. Like, are we living in that world? I don't want to live in that world. Um, Drill D, two tabs on my screen are open. Your vision and Alicia. Well, I'm excited and I'm, I'm curious. Um, so I've got extra. Okay, I've got extra speakers. Okay. So I set up. So in my VIP cabana, I think I can show y'all a little bit. In my in my cabana, cabana nana, and you can dance with me. Oh, okay. Yeah, it is starting. Yeah. Okay. So the show is starting. I've got two screens set up in my little zone here. So we'll see. No, Lee's right there. <laughs> yeah. okay. And you know, in this intro that we have, we've got Andrew Lloyd Webber, which I was happy for the Andrew Lloyd Webber cameo. I actually missed that in the first run. And and college orchestras walking around. Oh, we have Joss Stone. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see. Yeah, they're they're coming around. Yeah, we've got Joss Stone in the mix. Oh my goodness, y'all. Okay. I'm kind of, you know, I always get this moment where it's just like, it is this feeling of kind of like the beginning of the end. Cause it's been such a long season. It's like now I'm gonna be like having like a dry playlist and everything for a while. Vamos a la blanca pola, blanca pola. 
Vamos. Yes. Yeah, I, I'm a fan of this intro, this sort of video mashup and whatnot. I, I think it establishes early on in the show that this really is a joint production. All right, y'all. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go on mute for a little bit so y'all can get into the show, of course. I think that this was a great opener for the show. Again, I said before that this is really establishing early on that this is a joint production. Like, we could 
this one's now I think. You think so? Sinking sound, sinking sound. Okay. Jam Slam, I actually love Ukraine's song this year, Heart of Seal over Stefania. I, I think I'm in that camp too. I'm, I'm in that camp too. Piano, thank you so much. Victor, oh, I'm so nervous. Let me just tell y'all, we're about to have one of the best flag parades ever for Eurovision. So just get hype for the flag parade, okay? And just take it all in because it's good. We've got good performances coming in the middle of it. Awesome. Okay, I'll tell you, the moment that I knew that this was going to be my favorite flag opener was Sweet Dreams. Like, once Sweet Dreams came on, I was like, and this is the best opener. And then it just proceeded to get better and better and better. And I was just like, oh, so this is the best opener. This is the best opener. Yeah. It's like that transition of, like, Sweet Dreams and then 1944. Oh, I accepted. I mean, I was happy to see Go Away back. Y'all already know that that was my most played song of Eurovision 2021, period. So I was just glad to see them back low-key, quiet as a cap. Like, I wanted Monaskin to win on record. But I would have been very happy with the Ukraine win in 2021, just saying. I mean, honestly, I'm always happy with Ukraine. <laughs> right. We're getting all the comments work, Gustav. I know. So this is funny. I have to say, all the Europeans, y'all are a touch ahead of us. Because I think that they do blast out the European stream slightly sooner than Peacock gets it. Because I noticed that um, in 2021. That was the last time. So, yeah. So right now, I'm just on Tina Carroll. Yeah. Yeah, same here. I just want to show people again because you're like I want to be there well I want to be in Liverpool but I'm not mad that I'm here and then also showcasing a little bit of the VIP cabana we are covered you can't see the snacks I've got a screen here another screen for the folks of the VIP area excited excited this is this is definitely the way to watch it
So I just want to say, then when they like upgraded and they put blur in it, I was like, and now I'm over. My wig is snatched. Well, I don't wear wigs, but y'all know, my wig is snatched. I have removed all of my hair, set it on the floor, because this is the best flag parade we've had. Yes, I'm saying it, best flag parade we've ever had. The, the, the VIP suite is agreeing. VIP suite is agreeing. Yeah. All right. Okay, we're going full screen, y'all. Full tilt. Okay. Okay, we got someone saying up there with 26. I think that this bests it. When you go and watch this on the replay, you'll go. I mean, because the 2016 one, I, to me, was the best up until now. Up until now. Okay. I will just also say the styling of our hosts is impeccable. I love what Hannah's wearing. I love what Yulia's wearing. I love what Alicia's wearing. If I had to say a favorite, I'm not going to lie. I'm going to go ahead and say I think Hannah. I think Hannah. So, yeah. Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm glad to see Graham. I'm not gonna lie, like as much as I loved our three girls, I miss the Graham energy a little bit. And so when I watched the jury show, I was like, yeah, it was just that dash of kind of like wink that I was missing. But oh yeah, but if we're talking best dress. I'd actually probably say Hannah might be my my best dressed host of the evening. I just am a sucker for that fabric. I think that cut is impeccable. Her hair is bumping in the way that it needs to bump. I'm into it. No, panel is absolutely fantastic. I just want to say I also really appreciate the fact that when they animate the names, and the panel is animated in both English and also her name. Now, Ukraine's win would usually mean that they would be hosting tonight. But because of the war, runners up, the United Kingdom are taking the reins, and I'll be so very proud to do so. Music is beautiful DNA, so it's the right place for these year's competition. The season really has made Ukraine and all of us feel very welcome, so thank you! Dr. Caroro is saying, I think Hannah Waddingham is everyone's new favorite Brit. I might agree with you. Oh, and I think we figured out who our surprise cameo for today might have been. What, Kate Middleton at the piano? Was that our surprise? I think our surprise was has to come up well, that's what I was thinking. Okay. Okay. All right, we have the moment where we are bringing in uh, the intro of Luxembourg. Luxembourg returning, which I'm expecting them to serve and deliver. That is what I am expecting. I'm expecting serving and delivering from Luxembourg. You want to come over? All right, Josephine, you see the people? All right, what's your favorite, what's your favorite Eurovision song? What's the song you like, Mama? 
What? What's the most what? <laughs> You see? So now let me just say, I had to remind everyone, you see this whole entire crowd, I had to remind everyone that they can vote this year. That's the big news, that they can vote because I feel like I almost forgot that I could vote. I almost forgot that I could vote. Crazy. It feels surreal. It doesn't feel real yet. And I just want to say, this show is going to go by so fast. That is one benefit, I would say. Well, maybe not one benefit. But one of the things that I think this running order did, and I think this is one of our better running orders that we've had. I don't know if it's perfect, but this show went by so fast. It went by so quickly and that's what you wanted to feel like I remember in 2019 I felt like the show began to drag a little bit for me but this this show I mean it was like oh whoa like we're already I remember like the other day I was like oh my gosh I'm already at Germany like like we went through that many this is gonna be up there with like 2009 We like to be the second screen, so we like to try not to talk during the songs over here. But I'm going to say this. You know, I'm going to say this. I'm I'm really I'm really excited. I think I might get a little emotional. I might get a little emotional. But yeah, but we're going to second screen this. I really want to see the girls have fun with this. You made it. You're at the Eurovision Grand Final. You don't even have to be perfect tonight. Okay? Like, I want them to get up on the stage, serve this song with the wink, the joy, and the fun that they typically do bring to it. Yeah. I turn it down because I'm in a very crowd of my guys. Oh, it's 
Richmond is for Jacob and Coach Mon. Who loved Austria, guys? Just listen to Jack and Kathy excited about Austria. Well, Jojo, did you like that performance? Yeah. You liked it? It was fun? Well, I feel like I saw the girls having a little bit more fun today. This is probably the most fun they've had. I think um, well, I think Taya was definitely rocking. Taya was having fun. But y'all know it's my girl Mimi Cat, okay? Okay. Ten says the postcards are giving. I completely agree with you. I think that this year... The postcards are solid. I mean, this is what you kind of want with a postcard. You know, you're seeing a little bit of the artists. You're seeing a little bit of their culture. I like the mix of it. And so, yeah, I'm. let's get ready for Portugal, okay? Okay, we've got uh, we've got someone saying that they're bored. I want to show just the variety because I'm enjoying this. I think that she is serving. We're getting a little bit more face, and I will say I noticed in the semifinal they had tweaked the the staging and camera angles just a touch. They took away some of the wide angles that they had before. Okay, I think that Mimi Cat killed. I think that that was probably the best I've seen her do this song. I feel like the sass was there. Vocally, I wasn't worried about her, but the vocal was just confident. It, it felt really, really supported throughout. I mean, this was the best she's ever done. And y'all know my girl. <laughs> y'all know. You already know. You already know. I'm... I'm 
I don't know why we had to have her second, but I do feel like the BBC is trying to be innovators, okay? I feel like they're trying to be innovators, and so I think they want to break the second in the running order slot, and I think that they're doing that by selecting Portugal, ultimately, because I just don't see how people don't pick up the phone. I, I just, I really, really don't. Okay. Um, Steven, tell the people what you got for. I love Portugal. Here we go. You get to I love Portugal. I thought she really brought it. She came to play. Game time. You know, she showed up. All right. Now we're moving on to Switzerland. Okay. I mean, Remo sounded good as per usual. We're about to be getting into Poland. I just think like, you know, with Remo being such a consistent vocalist, you know, it makes it harder for the other people around him, you know? But yeah, let's, 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 let's get into Poland.
we got to give it up to Blanca because she really has improved. So let's give it up to Blanca for real. And I'm, I'm not even joking. I will just say our BOP girls are better for going through the experience that is Eurovision. Blanca will be a stronger performer because of this. She has to dance. She had to deal with crazy amounts of scrutiny and pissed off people. And I believe that she has risen to the occasion. Okay? She has risen to the occasion. She looks like a cute pop girl. Go off. Solo, solo. I never been like down, 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 now I'm gonna show ya, show ya. Jam Slam, surprising Poland is 15th in the odds. I argue not surprising based off of what we just saw. This is a certified cute little bop, okay? A certified cute little bop. And so I'm, I'm appreciative, because this is the thing, she could have crumbled. She could have crumbled under the spotlight, the hate, and the scrutiny. And really she said, you know what? What do, I, what do I need to do? Because I'll tell you one of the reviews that I had, or one of the critiques I had was, well girl, if you're not really gonna be coming through with a vocal, then give me a visual, all right? And they definitely did that, they definitely did that. Okay, we've got Serbia up next. Let me just tell you, I think look, Luke looks so cute in his little postcard. He really does, he really does. I'm like, okay boy, with your little lips and your curly hair, Benson. It's cute. It's cute. All right. I'm, I'm ready for Serbia. I'm not going to 
Juries cannot blank this. I'm sorry. I'm watching this. Juries cannot could not have blanked this. People are going to pick up the phone. This is memorable. It almost didn't matter where it came to the running order. It was too memorable to just be forgotten. Come through Luke Black. That was amazing. I think that's the best I have ever seen him do this performance, period. This is the best he's ever done it. He looked so confident. He was delivering on the stage. And I know this is not a vocal performance, y'all, okay? It's not a vocal performance. So I'm not analyzing this for vocals, but I am most certainly analyzing this, you know, for energy for like kind of the conceptuality of it and the precision with what is presented before us. Now we have France coming up to the mix. Okay, let's go, let's go. I'm, I'm ready to get into France. Our first winner potential song up to the bat. Best the vocal has ever sounded. I'm 
I will just go on and say this is the best that she has sounded. The vocal, I, I wonder if maybe she was just trying to be creative and do some other notes in the rehearsals. She kept, um, she stayed true to the studio cut of the song, which I, I think that was the best thing for her to do. Um, yeah, I, I, this was the best, it was, period. This was, this was the best performance that she has done. I mean, vocally, she was together, and we needed her to be together. Um, so, I'm, so I'm glad with that. I will tell you, though, this is not what I heard yesterday. That's not what I heard yesterday. So I don't know if that'll hurt the juries at all, but maybe the juries already had their mind made up. But that's the vocal that she should have been doing this whole entire time. I will say the last note was maybe like a half step off or like maybe slightly sharp, but overall I thought it was good. Overall, overall I thought that this was good. Again, this is the best she's ever sounded. This is the best. This is the best she's ever sounded. And she needed to. She needed to. All right, previewing. Oh, and I will also say I preferred her hair this way. Kind of messy a little bit. I mean, I, I think I prefer that look than like kind of the very pulled back look. So yeah. Okay, so next up, hold on, Lily. I messaged you. Okay, maybe you want to turn it up again. It's just I'm getting a whole bunch of your background, not a lot of you. Yeah, just a lot of the background, but not a lot of you. It's a lot of background, not a lot of you. Oh, I like that comment, Brett. Okay. Natural Rose from Titanic. Aight, aight, aight. No, I'm sorry, guys. If you don't look over here, you're a bit better now. Okay. 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 That's because I'm on mute. Uh, the French broadcaster says Cyprus was produced by Sweden. That is true. It was produced by Sweden. Let's see what Andrew is going to give us because we already know we're going to get chest, arms, face.
All right, someone said this reminds them of Oakman. To be fair, I think that this is a slightly better produced than Oakman, I think, but I I don't know, I don't know. Um, but I, I think that honestly, I think he did very well. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some jury points for Cyprus. Come on now. We know we're going to get some from Greece, probably going to get some from Australia, and probably going to get some from Sweden, and I'm not hating. Because actually, I think that this was well executed, personally. I think this was, yeah, I think that this was well executed. Okay. Well, we got Spain next. We got Spain next. We got some people excited for Spain. Eric is saying there's almost one million people watching on the main channel. Wow, wow, wow. All right. Okay. Okay. I'm I'm ready for Blanca Paloma. I am ready for Spain.
So, okay, y'all. Vocal perfection, um, visually a feast, perfection. I mean, I like what, like, what about that was boo boo? What about that was off? What about that was wrong? I, I, I tell you, I'm like, look, I am open. I am open to anyone winning Eurovision this year, if that anyone is Spain, Sweden, uh, Finland. Honestly, I'd, mm, I'd even be down for Poland winning, quite as it's kept. <laughs> <laughs> Lily, what is the vibe of the main tent? Lily, you're low again. Let's turn it up. Honestly, check which audio. It's it's picking up your computer audio, not your mic. Check your audio settings. I think it's picking I think it's just your regular mic. It's not that actual mic. All right, okay. Whew. Maria, the more I watch and listen to singers, the more I'm convinced that Luca is the best tonight. Despite the diff difficult situation, Serbia made a great performance and conveyed an important message. All right. I mean, I think his, his staging was good. So now we're about to have Lorien get on the stage, y'all. Sweden, another winner potential song that we have this year. So let's see what we get. Lily, did you want to test again? Let's see. Okay.
Yo. 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 Yo, we might be witnessing history. We might be witnessing history. We might be witnessing history. We might be wit uh, witnessing history. <laughs> All she has to do is come back with another song, like writing another song to somebody else. She can go for that three for free too. Everybody, everybody, everybody. People, people. Yeah, um, how's this, guys? Is this better or worse? You know? Oh, this is way better. This is way better, Lily. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened either. I played around with more settings. Um, well, you know, I'm flanking myself. Hail Sferia. I, I, I am now, you know, I, I am now a sweet. I'm <laughs> I'm now sweet. No, uh, that was executed very, very well. That was what she needed to do. That was what she needed to do. Um, you know, I, I think that there were some people saying that the jury show wasn't optimal yesterday. Um, yeah, I, some people said that. I, I don't know. Um, Steph is saying I'm Team Finland. Look, 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 look y'all. For me, I said, well, her, well, let me just say this. I am living in the world of like, because my wallet, and honestly, look, to me, if I could have Finland, Sweden, and Spain as my number one, but I make decisions because I think y'all want me to, you know what I mean? Like, I make decisions, so then I, I have to go down the checklist and go, okay, well, this could have been this, and then I start getting picky, and then some people think in, in the result, as a result of me being then picky, then they start thinking that I don't like this song and stuff like that, so it's like, which one? Which one is it? Um, Finland and Spain, I think, are slightly different than what Sweden is giving us. If I gave an edge to anything, I probably would say Finland and Spain. They're giving me something new. You know, they're giving me something newer. But y'all know I love, I've been in these Lorien streets for too many years. I'm deep in the streets, okay? But yeah, let's get into Albania, okay? Honestly, it's the drama for me. It's it's the vocals for me. It's the family Kelman D. If this was like a soap opera opening, I would not miss a single episode. I dare say it. Albania has the best dance break of the night. Hold on, let me just tell you. I sent an interview quest to Citarella, okay? Yeah. I sent an interview quest to Citarella, and I sent an interview request to the whole family, and I didn't hear nothing back. I'm just saying. Some of y'all be wondering why, like, oh, why didn't you interview this one? Why didn't you interview? I send out the request. I'm waiting on the people to respond, okay?
Albania came through for me. Albania came through for me. And I was, I was not on, I didn't know if I would be convinced with Spain, Sweden, Albania. But I don't know, maybe I'm just on, I'm on a, I'm on a roller coaster ride. I'm like taking me up, 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 up. We're still in the family, we're still in the drama section, as I recall. This is our soap opera. This is, this is, this is, you are completely right, Lily. This is Eurovision 2023 daytime television. It starts with Spain. Spain's the first of the drama. We keep going. Italy comes through because the song is dramatic as well, like lyrically speaking. This is like the the soap opera section, of the show. And then we get Estonia. And that it's all dramatic. Yeah. There is always time to get back on track. Tearing down the walls slowly every step. Now I see myself. Okay, okay, Italy. Gorgeous. I think that's the best I've ever done. Marco came, served, and when I tell you the entire Big Five plus our host country completely deserve to be in the Grand Final. I mean, these are six of the best songs we have this year point blank I, I don't care what anyone says like none of these songs to me deserve to be on the last half i mean that was great that was great i mean for me personally i think this is probably the strongest final we've had since 2009 because everyone brought a good song everyone deserves to be in this final every single person and i'm not used to saying that about certain big five countries at all I'm just like so happy we got such a great final out of this this year. 
You know, I completely agree. Let me pick up this Magnus Sandstrom. Wonder where you're from. Uh, if ESC was a music contest, Lorian will win in a landslide. She's in a league of her own since it's not my guess it is that Finland will win. But it'll be a tough fight with Sweden. It will be a tough fight. And we've got Estonia. So let's get into our girl, Lika. Oh, she's wonderful, Fantastic. wonderful, Fantastic. wonderful. Well, I, I will say, I think she had all the obstacles against her. Lithuania, a really awful running order in the semifinal. And I think that vocal cut through. I think that musicianship cut through. I think that is what we are seeing. The fact that we're seeing artistry and that's another thing i would even say for mimi cap because I, I say this no shade to people who are not on the writing credits for their song but i do think plus one to the individuals who are actually the creative forces behind the entries that they serve to us at eurovision all right now finland is upon us we're gonna keep up the crowd I will say, okay, we got some people running to the bathroom very quickly, um, but we do have a break after Finland. We do have a break after Finland, so we will see where we wind up. Um, I've got Josephine. I don't know if she's going to be. Uh, so I don't know. Let's see if Josephine's going to be feeling cha 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 today or not. The cries have already begun.
the, we had a good time. The That's crowd, really the crowd in Washington D.C. is loving Finland, loving them, loving them, loving them. I mean, but this is a rousing song. This is a fun song. I said once this song dropped, this was going to storm the televote. I think some people had questions: Was Croatia going to cut into a little bit of it? Would Serbia cut into a little bit of it? I don't think that those songs kind of elicit that sort of unbridled joy that Finland does. There's something so unapologetic about the whole entire package. And is the vocal together? No. Is it? Is this a situation where we need a vocal? No. If you come to Eurovision without a vocal performance song, then guess what? I won't be talking and you know picking at your vocal. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. I won't pick at it. I won't pick at it. Yeah, so if you don't want me coming at your vocal or anything like that, then don't give me a vocal performance song, okay? I have to say, I love this moment in the song where it explodes and the girls are just feeling that freedom. This is another reason why I found it so strange that y'all wanted them to be in the doll makeup because it wouldn't have let this moment feel so free and exuberant. When we were talking about this being a winner potential song, I really wanted to wanted it to remain there because there is something so powerful about this entry and the way that they are executing it is very well. And I know some of y'all were hesitant about it. Maybe it's just because I loved it before, but I, I just, I really, I really feel deeply that the Czech Republic is going to be winning Eurovision soon. It's happened this decade. I've been saying it since 2018. Y'all, if you're in a delegation and you're like, mm, what can we do to get things right? Look at what the Czech Republic has done. They have been a total turnaround. And and like now, I can't imagine, like I can't imagine a final without them at this point. They just consistently are so, so good. And they deserve all the love at the beginning. Like that one part when they start swinging like, and just they're free and it's just like, it makes you feel good. 
that explosion of pink taking over the stage. I just love winning, and it's just like such a freeing, special moment. All right, so, you know, we've got Australia coming up next. And I told y'all before, I was like, our second half is our exuberant fun half. I got to figure out when I'm going to the bathroom, though. I got to figure it out. Because I'm not... Yeah, I'm like, I'm not peeing, it, peeing anytime soon. I got I to gotta see Australia. And because I saw this in chat, just remember when the songs are on, we have to mute so YouTube does not flag us and take us down. All right, Australia has hit it. Um, I'm going to turn to the VIP suite. We see the crowd in the main tent. Mom, VIP suite people, what's your favorite performance so far? Cha, cha, cha. Okay, we got a Finland fan already here. Mom, what was your favorite performance so far? I'm holding tight to Sweden. My mom is still holding it down for Sweden, all right? Okay, we got two Finland, one Sweden in the VIP suite. Steven, what was your favorite? Between Sweden and Finland. Okay, we've got Steven between Finland and Sweden. So right now, technically in the VIP suite, the Nordics are hitting it, all right? The Nordics are hitting it in the VIP suite currently. Um, and yeah, so up next we've got Belgium, we have Gustav. I expect to see some points for Gustav from the jury. I would not be surprised to see Gustav top 10 with the jury.
Because there's a vocal performance there. He, he sounded great last night, too. Sounded amazing. So let's go. No, same though, absolutely the same. Y'all, y'all, everybody got that um grand final vocal energy vibe going. That's exactly. what I'm feeling. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like everybody is a little bit on that grand final vocal sauce. You know, his vocal was really hitting. Um, what do I, uh, hold on. 418 Music Fan, we couldn't have Busker, but we still got Gustav to give us that feel-good party vibes tonight. I completely agree with you. Fur Goyo Hidalgo, his voice was almost perfect in the semis. I completely agree. Jam Slam is saying Embers 2.0, but come on though, Embers was a bop. I don't care what anybody says. Embers was a bop, but stage poorly. Embers was a bop. I, I, I still listen to Embers, I don't know about y'all. Come on. It's, it's a vibe, it's a vibe. Victor says, I'm loving this Eurovision. I'm telling you, this is one of those grand finals that to me is not dragging. It's not dragging. It is moving by so quickly, so quickly. And that doesn't always happen. And I mean, that's the power of the fact that I think this running order was, was pretty good. This is one of the better running orders I think we've had. Truly believe, truly believe. Okay, Antonio says, the betting odds have dropped Spain 10. Oh, goodness. Flying Kukoa, the show is moving so fast. It is, it is. Anta says, Lorian is the best to me. Um, uh, uh, Saren to scene. He hit the notes like the mortgage was overdue. Look, absolutely. He had bills to 
pay. And when I just tell you, they got paid tonight. They got paid tonight. They got paid. But let's let's talk about though. What are my bills going to be looking like after we choose the winner for Eurovision 2023? Because I want to make Eurovision affordable again. I want to make Eurovision affordable again. I need to be going to someplace affordable. Okay. I'm all I'm all for a country that has a one yet winning. Czechia well, you know, through. I'm always there, but I that's not going to happen. Through. Yeah, but it's not going to happen this year. But maybe next year we can have a country that hasn't won before win. I don't think I don't think it's happening today. But I'm believing for it. You know what I'm saying? I'm believing for it for next year. We need like a first time winner soon. Oh, y'all, I'm I'm doing all this talking. I'm doing all this talking. And this was this was the moment that I needed to get up and go to the bathroom. Lily, why didn't you tell me? This was the moment. I'm sorry. This is me. Uh, yes. I'm um, um, honestly I'm loving like the little cameos in the background. It is so much fun. I think it's just like the, such a clever way of like playing up and like doing the little nod towards your vision. Okay, but can I go now, Lily? Um, I don't know. Hold on, let me double check. No. Got some cheers for Armenia.
We got a second of Alicia before she goes back to the cabana. Uh, we've got a little bit of time before my brother starts. So, guys, how do we feel about Armenia? How do we feel about Armenia? Absolutely agree, Eric. Gorgeous, beautiful, gorgeous. Look, Sean, I'm, she already got oximated once this week. You don't need to be oximated again. So I'm seeing mixed reviews for the dance break. Yeah. I'm seeing some mixed reviews. I like it. I think it's not like a traditional dance break. I think it's still giving us something a little bit different. I feel like it's still a little artful. So to me, it doesn't feel like, oh, I'm just going to do a dance break just so I can show people that I can dance. It felt like it was it was artful, just like the song, to me, to me. And I don't know if you noticed the writing credits are in the song. It's just her, her lyrics and music. Come on now. And Tumblr. I mean, yeah, Tumblr, duh. <laughs> The reason why there's no sound for me when the songs are on is because a lot of people do two screens for me. So they're watching the stream and then also, and so I like to not disturb their, like, Eurovision viewing experience with me talking. I have to say, I always love the notes from like the various commentators because as much as people like to try and act precious about the stuff that I want to say about Eurovision, where I think I'm extremely constructive with the feedback that I provide, 
some of these commentators are wild and crazy and they're getting a check. I'm not. I'm doing this for free. They're getting a check. And I, I feel like if I was getting a check, I would be a little bit more like respectful. But apparently some of these commentators are just out here talking about how people didn't have their vocal together. They're out here talking about, you know, oh, well, oh, well, that was wild. That was crazy. I'm like, really? That's the world we live in. And I thought as a commentator, you would have to be a little bit like, you know, general. I mean, they yeah. have to entertain their public, but I mean, you can be entertaining without being rude. I mean, come on. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. I, I mean, I know y'all are coming for coming to me for the truth. You want the honesty. But I just feel like a commentator's job isn't like a YouTuber job. It isn't a journalist's job. It's to commentate on what people are doing. To kind of fill in the blanks and add a little bit of context along the way. That's, that's sort of what I was living in. But okay, we got Ukraine. Yes, we do. To be fair, I feel like the vocal could be a little bit stronger. The vocal could be a little bit stronger. Jeffrey's vocal is not really perfect. I think as an overall package, like just the performance, the look, everything goes together so well. Well, I agree with that, but I, but I, I like a precision and accuracy with the vocals that I consume with love. And I think sometimes he just doesn't take the deep enough breath and like support the vocal throughout to really deliver it with the attack. Just what you think. Like, you know, it's, you know, because no matter how fast someone's listening, like, you can't ease into it. It's not lazy. Don't care what you say. Yeah, yeah. Don't care how you feel. Like, I mean, when you think of the lyrics, it's like you gotta attack every single phrase. Yeah, he needs more breath. Like, you're saying he needs more breath support. Fantastic, fantastic. Good reaction here in the tent as well. It was absolutely fantastic. Jim, you've been here for years and you're working on a timeout. He's tired from playing the NBA. He's not a basketball player. Lily, am I missing something? Is he a basketball player? No, it just sounds like someone's saying some stuff they really shouldn't be saying. And Don't do it. Wrong. Don't play up on my stream. I mean, this is yeah. this is not the audience. You can take that to some of them other live streams. You've been here for years. I know who you are. So keep it cute. Keep it classy. Yeah. Keep it not problematic yeah. in the comments. All right, so we got Alessandra next, and I'm just going to be real with y'all. I'm really curious to see how this vocal comes through today, okay? I did not watch this morning because, honestly, I was hoping that this morning in the stream, we wouldn't be served really with any vocals because you need to have your vocals together for this. So I'm, I'm going to be listening. I just hope she has it together because I, 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 I don't want her. I, I want her to do well.
is ready. The board is ready. It's definitely Eurovision. <laughs> okay, so um, this was good. This is better than the semifinal. Some people are like, oh, she improved her vocal from the semifinal. Lest we forget that she already did the vocal flawlessly at the national selection. You know what I mean? Like, so we have to remind ourselves, she's already done this. It wasn't really anything for her to prove. But the challenge of this is you have some people who didn't follow the national selection. And so, I mean, honestly, I think this performance was good enough. There were some vocal adjustments that she made that maybe were not like hit and hit, but like I think enough. Um, I really, really wish that Norway would have considered really going for the wins. Because I think that there was slightly an opening that I think Finland has proven that clearly there was a little bit of an opening. And it almost seemed like Norway just went like, well, Sweden's probably going to get it. And then they didn't do a whole lot to optimize that staging. Um, I think that Norway will do great. Uh, I don't think that they're coming top three, though. I don't think that they're coming top three, but I think that they will do well. I, I, I'm just glad that at least this is better than the semifinal, and I'm glad. I'm glad that we're getting this. So we've got Germany up next. Okay. So I know you're not in Finland for a fact with that comment there.
I'm seated, people enjoyed it. I don't know about where you all are, but hey. Yeah, I wish they had the guts to bring true heavy metal songs. Here's the thing. Does, would the German public have voted for that? You have to think about, they have to get through national finals. And, like, that's accessible metal. And, like, when it comes to bringing genres that people aren't used to at Eurovision, it's great to have an accessible version of it. It's still staying true to their sound without compromising and giving you something that people can enjoy. Um, I mean, I can sing grace of it. I just, I, I can't have like, this hope. Like, some eight-year-old kid is going to see that performance and go, you know what, maybe I want to become, like, a metal musician. It's like, it takes just one song to get you into the genre, really. Lily, that was beautiful. And let me just tell you, the moment, the moment is upon us. All of the wine moms, let's raise a glass. Shuto, tuto. I got the sangria. I, I got the sangria. Water. You like shuto? Shuto, tuto. Yeah. We're gonna cheers, cheers. Oh wait, hold on, hold on. Oh wait, look, we gotta show the people because wine moms unite. Cheers. Thank you. Hey, Josephine's an honorary wine mom. Tuto. Shuto. People started cheering over here. But no, Monica, Monica was great. Monica, her vocal was flawless. Gorgeous perfection. I don't know what else to say besides wine moms, get your credit cards ready and support her. Y'all, let me just let me just tell you right now. Because I remember y'all were all hot pissed because Rudimer didn't win. And I didn't follow the Lithuanian national selection, so I didn't know really what was going on. But when I played the song, you know, I was willing to be open. I was willing to be open to the fact that 
maybe Lithuania picked wrong. And after I was listening to the song, I was like, Shuto, tuto, come on! Come on! So, I think what we got up next is Israel, right? Israel is next. My mom likes Israel. Hold on, mom. You like Israel, right? I like Israel. You like it a lot? I like it a lot. The vocals are great. I really do. And I like her dance moves. I like the song. I like the vocal performance. And I, I like okay, well, the can we watch total it? package. Yes. <laughs> sounding good she really is sounding good she has she has improved she has improved this she, again she is going to be a better performer because of this That's the best she's ever free. done. Free. Are you disappointed? Best, best no, I am not. She did an awesome job. Okay, awesome. okay, but what was what's your favorite song so far? Because we're we're nearing the end. Or favorites, plural. Mm, so I still like Sweden. I I'm really enjoying this. There's several different songs that I like. Okay. Okay. I'm not calling any names. Okay. Fin Finland did a great job. Okay, Finland it's, was joyful. It was joyful. It was fun. It was fun. Okay. Yes. All right. All right. Mom has spoken. We've got Slovenia next. When we were watching the jury show, Mom was was not convinced with Slovenia. I told her she was not the demographic for a said performance. I don't know. So you know, there's that. Um, I, I think that, I mean, honestly, that's the best Noah's ever done it for Israel. I'm a believer. And let's get ready. Let's get ready for Slovenia.
Good reaction here for Slovenia, definitely. Um, no, that was perfect. I don't know what else to say besides, like, we knew it was good. We had that presentation of the national. People are starting to react to Croatia. Yeah, no, everything about that is absolute perfection. I think that, like, the, the bar gave Slovenia some love. There were claps. People were clapping along on the bridge. It, it's so I just got my whole life to Slovenia. Mom, are you, hold on, I got to shift over. Are you convinced by Slovenia? No. <laughs> not my demographic. Okay, so you admit it's not your demographic. <laughs> no. Okay, well, next up we've got Croatia coming. But mom, you kind of liked Croatia. I don't think so. <laughs> I thought you were appreciating the performance of the Jersey show. No, I was confused. Okay. You explained it to me, and I could appreciate it more once you explained it. Wonderful. Wait, you saw Armenia. Did Armenia win you over? That's the one. I decided to be. Oh, yes, yes. Okay, I, win. I, I, I got one win. One win. All right. All right, okay. We got Croatia next. I mean, in here, people are having a good time. I enjoyed that one, too. Honestly. I, I, I have so so the, the beginning. You have, but let's start off. Is Croatia going to cut a dent in Finland's televote score? What do you think, Lily? I think so, just because they come so much later in the running order. And I feel like in the running order, things that are later tend to do better with the televote. Well, that's true. I think we have that. We have that together. I love this moment right now. We're seeing Hannah just with the girls from Croatia, which honestly, I think they deserve this moment because they came first. And so there might be some people who are like, who are they? What song did they do? It's true. It, it's possible. All right. We're at the last song. Didn't that breeze by? Didn't that breeze by for y'all? So fast. But I'm telling you, I'm ready to get my voting. I got two cards so I can use my maximum 40 votes. Okay? My 40 votes. Okay, yeah. No, 
No, I'm ready to vote too. Okay, wait, hold on. Is Croatia saving Sweden? Oh, I didn't even think about it that way. I didn't even... I didn't even think about it that way. Okay, let's see. My other is also, Steven. is Croatia too, like, off-putting to people? And whereas for the worst me. Okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, well, I want to bring in the vibes from the VIP suite. So, come on, just share me, share your overall thoughts. It's been a great show. Major improvement on Rome. And I'll get back to you after the song. Yeah. I'm going on mute. We got to see what May's coming with. Coming with the final song. Yeah, her mic is super low. Decent reaction here for that one. Um, it wasn't awful. I would say she's on the. It just seemed like she was really low in the mix. Hold on, real quick. The crowd here in DC is not wowed. What happened? No one even clapped. Everyone's out of it. I mean, let me just let me just say this. I didn't think it was that bad, but it was not what it needed to be. Yeah. It was not what it needed to be, but I didn't think it was bad. No, it, it just... Mix was off. It just low in the mix. She was extremely low in the mix, and I'm glad that I had the additional speakers that I have here, you know, just because I wasn't trying to have people come at me on Twitter like, oh, everyone said she sounded great. I'm like, well, that's not what I heard. Okay, that's not what I heard. Oh, we um, have a question for someone. Someone has a question. Okay. So, can someone tell me the criteria why Australia and Israel are in Eurovision? Not criticizing, but someone asked me, and I don't know why. 
they are members of the EBU. So think about the EBU like a cable program. Think about it like a broadcasting system or something like that. And people are able to sign up to be members of the EBU. That doesn't necessarily mean that they are European nations. It just means that they are able to um, uh, pick up the content that the EBU puts out. So thus being an EBU partner, member, and mind you, the EBU is publicly funded. It allows you the opportunity to then carry and participate in the Eurovision Song Contest. I hope that helps. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, that's the answer. And now it's time to vote. And I got my two cards out. And I I'm just saying. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I'm going to give Poland like three points. I am. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. Most improved. Because after you do a national selection and then you show up at the Eurovision Song Contest, I want you to take the package that you have and elevate in every way possible, okay? To me, Poland decided we're going to elevate in every way that we possibly can. Y'all already know I'm going to give some points to Serbia. Duh. I don't know if Finland or Sweden need me. Like, on a level, I almost want to be messy and be like, I'm not going to vote for either. Let's let Europe decide between Finland and Sweden. But you already know. I'm going to have to give some folk. I'm going to have to give. Oh, I'm canceled now because I said most improved. No, no, no. But I, I think I'm, I got 40 points, y'all. So I'm going to spread the love because I know I need to give some points to Portugal. So hold on. Is the app open? Okay, okay, okay. I can start voting. It's open. So hold on. Okay. So I'm going to give some points. I got to give some points to Portugal. Duh. I'm going to give. Poland some change. I'm gonna give Serbia some points. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm gonna like kind of max out at Spain because it needs to be done. I gotta give some love to Sweden. Okay, so that's gonna be my first transaction. Okay, let's see, let's see. Okay, I gotta, I gotta give a, a verification code. Okay, what is, what is Bank of America telling me? Okay. Okay. Like to come, like to finish, yeah, to finish higher. Yeah, Italy. Okay, I'm about to do my second set of votes. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna give, okay, so my second set of votes, I'm gonna give five points to Portugal because I must. I'm gonna give two for Austria this go round. This is my second set of votes, y'all. I gotta still keep some stuff with Serbia. Um, I need to do Finland this go round. Even though Finland don't really need me, you know what I'm saying? I'm giving obviously some for Blanca Paloma. Giving a little bit to Sweden. They don't need me, but I'm giving a little bit to Sweden. But I had to give a little bit to Austria. I'm doing Portugal. I'm doing Serbia. I'm doing Spain, Sweden, and Finland. Because honestly, at this point, I'm just trying to confirm winners. You know what I'm saying? Like, I need to... I need to, you know, invest. I went with Slovenia, Germany, and Ukraine. Oh, I could have done. Oh, well, oh, hold on, real quick. Cause I gotta give Slovenia something. I gotta give something to Slovenia. Hold on. My bad. Czechia. My bad. Oh, okay. Wait, here, here. I got some leftover. I'm doing Czechia. Yeah, cause I like them too. 
We need, we need, we need the Czech Republic to win soon. Okay, now I'm just all over the place, y'all. I'm just all over the place, y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna give, I'm actually gonna give more to Czechia, and then I'm gonna give something else to Slovenia, because I hadn't done that before yet. Okay. All right, all right. Okay, four, four. All right. Oh, I wonder, y'all, of our Battle of the Bands, who's coming out? Who's coming out? Because at first I was kind of thinking Slovenia, and now I'm living in a world where Australia might get in. This might be Europe saying, hey, don't leave us yet. Don't leave us yet. It is prog rock. No, it is definitely prog rock. But it's an accessible version of it, because at least it's not yes. like <laughs> yes, yes. Let's be honest. Yes. But we like it. We need our we need our genre diversity at Eurovision. And that's period. Why it's so strong. It's just because of all the genre diversity. Okay, so someone last being case asked uh, who we voted for. Well, I gave four, I gave uh, five. I will just say, even though we had a rainy day here, um, Americans still came out to watch the Eurovision Song Contest here. We're in Washington, D.C. We're at Wonder Garden. Shout out to Wonder Garden, German Bar, and whatnot. It was rainy, but when I tell you, like, the space was packed. Look at this. Look at this. Packed. Packed. Everyone here yeah. to watch the Eurovision Song Contest. All right, I maximized my 40 votes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. So, oh yes, uh, I use my two cards. Now hold on, actually, y'all, I have to drop out of the stream so I can go in the room and remind people in the room that it's their opportunity to vote. Okay. Okay, while she does that, while she heads over to my way, um, I will explain how the voting outside of Europe works. So basically, we go on the Eurovision website, and we put in our votes, and we, it costs 19.90 uh, euro, um, and not euro, is it in pounds? Oh, it was either in pounds or euro. I can't remember which one it was. Um, but then once we our votes come in, it's going to count as like one country set of televotes for the rest of the world. So it's one set of one through eight, and then the max, I'm sorry, one through eight, then 10, and then 12. So it's like the same as one country voting is what's happening outside of Europe and Australia. See people around here having a good time. Okay, and now we have Sam Ryder doing his um, interval act. So we have some uh, disabled dancers with him and his performance. I do really like Sam Ryder's voice so much.
No, that is correct. You go on the thing and you can vote once per credit card. And when you go to do your vote, you can have up to 20 votes with each credit card that you use. Um, so if you did 20 in one section, 20 in the other section, it works out to being about 40. I think it's 2119 after converting in USD. All right, Lorendi says, my favorite moment tonight, Italy, Estonia, Israel, Norway, Portugal, Croatia, Lithuania, Germany, Slovenia, and Loki, Poland. Honestly, I like Poland. I'm like, I'm just here to have a good time with Bebe. I don't know if you guys were in, our, uh, in the Years and Fam stream last night, but I did have my Bebe t-shirt on for, for the uh, for jury final. Okay. Yes, Helena. Yes, Helena. Um, Jackson? Yeah, no. Joker out for Slovenia. Of course, I had to give them points. They've been my winner since it got released. Jail time? What did I do in jail? Why am I canceled? Oh, because I wore a Bebe t shirt. You know what? Don't, don't hit me. <laughs> I embrace what I like. Sometimes I just crave the chaos, guys. I just crave the chaos. So let's see what we've got. Uh, some votes for Spain, votes for Sweden, Belgium. I'll vote for Austria. Po, 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 po. Hey, you know we're in D.C., so we've got to support Edgar Allan Poe. I mean, I think he lived here at one point. <laughs> All right, let's see here. Is your bull act going to make you cry? Um, honestly... And this, I think the interval act is where we get our special, like, guests that they've been hinting at. So, honestly, Sam Ryder has such a great head of hair. Just beautiful. And, like, he's got that Labrador energy still. So, Slovenia. Okay. You voted for Lithuania, Estonia, Australia, Italy, and just for chaos, Poland. I like the chaos. I crave the chaos. Some love for Luke Black and some lobsters or some baba. I keep having trouble saying that. I've also been drinking. So um, my ink, my uh, pronunciation is not going to be the best in the world for a little bit there. All right, let's see here. Lots of love for Spain. Some love for Sweden. Um, this comment. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> I do think. Okay, so you voted for Switzerland, France, Armenia, Estonia, and Slovenia. You know, you're the first person in chat mentioning that you voted for Switzerland, so hey. Um, all right, all right, y'all. All right, y'all. I love this interval act. I loved uh, Sam Ryder's performance. All I have to say is I really need for the UK not to feel any type of way or anything about um, about the results if they don't do well this year. I hope that this, like we should keep this trend up UK. All right, okay, they're doing an interview and so I'm gonna bring y'all something a little bit different. We're going to talk to some American Eurovision fans, but we're going to kick it off. Can I kick it off with you? Well, then, can you shift it? No. No, no, no. Um, keep the level, but then over. No. That way. There we go. There we go. Okay. Hello. Okay, we've got the VIP section on and popping. What's up? Yeah, so what were your thoughts? Better show than 2022. The back, the back screen, effective. Now with the failure of that sun. The mute. I might have liked the songs better last year, but the whole package this year was way better in general. 
only one act flubbed up a little bit, I won't say who, but Tops, Finland, Lithuania, um, I really loved her vocal, really appreciated it, France, and even though I'm not personally a fan of it, Sweden did very well. Being objective. Okay, my partner over here is saying go Italy, go Estonia. Back to you. Okay. I mean, honestly, I, the thing that's been so exciting about this experience of Eurovision is I haven't been on the ground. You know, I'm so used to covering Eurovision, you know, sort of solo on the ground. And I'm not going to lie. I mean, I might be back next year. But I don't know. I'm kind of won over with this experience. It's so really heartwarming to, like, go into this huge tent. Like, when I tell you, we had over 600 people RSVP for this event. So Lily has been broadcasting from one of the tents, but we have two. Two right, tents thank you very here. Much for and when Let's I tell you, both of those tents Gio. are packed with are American you? Eurovision fans. Yeah, but the other thing that I think is really notable that a lot of people might not really recognize is like sort of the experience of someone like me who's from Washington, D.C. We have a huge international population here in D.C. Uh, I, I mean, and when I say huge, huge Eurovision um, and international community here. So to me, the thing that I think that is most revolutionary about the global vote isn't so much so for us Americans to make our voices heard, heard, but for all the expats who live here in the United States, who love Eurovision, who watch it, who experience it, all of that good stuff. And then, you know, are, and then are left in some sort of a situation where just because they're not at home, they actually can't vote at Eurovision, but they are European citizens. They are European folks. And so I think that's the thing that's really big about this year's global vote in particular, because it is, it's a situation and scenario where we've got people who, uh, how would I say? They, they should have the right to vote. They deserve to vote. They deserve to vote. All right. All right, so I'm here. I'm enjoying this. This is such a great experience. And I just want you to see. So I'm like, just look at this. You've got tons of people. And like I said, this is just one tent. This is just one tent for your vision. Crazy. So when everyone's sort of sitting at home and they're just like, eh, I don't know. Well, hold on. Let me hop into these comments real quick. Because... No, 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 ma'am. No, ma'am. Go over there. Go over there. Sorry. Child food situation. Okay. Um, all right, all right. Okay. But I want you to take a look at this crowd of people. Look at this crowd of people watching Eurovision right now. Come on. Come on. No one can tell me. No one can tell me. So, any ask, who did your 12 points go to? Well, I, we have, like, you don't do, we don't do our points like ranking. You can just, you get up to 20 votes, and then you sort of put in the points like so. Does that make any sense? Does that make any sense? Um, that's how, that's how we're kind of working working the points this year so yeah um so i i mean honestly that's one thing i will say that's annoying <laughs> i will just say that is one thing that is annoying about the way that the votes go down i wish that with my receipt i wish that with my receipt i could find out how many points i gave to which country because i will tell you i'm in the haze of beer and sangria sangria because of monica and lithuania beer because it's eurovision so I'm almost like, but I'm going to tell you, I oversold on Spain, but I gave, I gave Finland love, I gave Sweden love, I did give some points to Aust Austria, gave some points to Czechia, I was reminded, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to give some points to Slovenia, I gave some points to Serbia, so yeah, so here we are, oh my goodness, Victor, music is to celebrate with everyone, we all have music in you, that's beautiful, that's beautiful, Jimmy, Israel not getting a big response on Twitter though, are they not, are they not, I don't know, I think Israel's going to do just fine, that performance was amazing, I told you, I showed you, my mom was a fan, Verna was a fan, okay, Lily, are you ready, are you ready to go? I just really want people to hone in on this crowd of people because I'm saying this is only one tent. We've got two tents here. 
I've also got my VIP stream going. We've got the little VIP area with snacks, drinks. A few folks in here were also covered. And when I tell you, this was a rainy day in D.C. This is a rainy day in D.C. And like in D.C. and obviously some people can just go, you know what? The event at Wonder Garden was free. I'll pay the $5 for the peacock. But people still came out because so much of Eurovision is about how we experience it as a community. Yeah. Lily, take it away. She's like, <laughs> you hear her quote Martin Amsterdam? Um, yeah, no, that, that was good. And I think people, the vibe in here is also good, you know. I don't know what to say, guys, other than we're having a good time. <laughs> All right, let's see here. So Marianne wants everyone to know if you vote for Spain, you're going to get some free paella. Okay. Hopefully it's good paella. I've had some bad paella before. Some love for Luke. Some love for Italy. Um, Danny D asked, who did Lily vote for? I voted for Czechia, Germany. Um, Slovenia, and, oh my gosh, Ukraine, Ukraine. So, Czechia, Ukraine, Germany, Slovenia is who I voted for. Everyone got an even split of four, uh, five points for me. I just did four, split it five ways. It felt like the fair thing to do. Thank you. I have excellent taste. I also crave chaos. So, you know. Um, I mean, he was pretty cheeky during the rehearsal. Um, we'll see if that cheekiness comes out, especially when we like, get to the, the jury votes. Did you hear Mel C? Um, at the beginning of the, she was the one who did like the opening voiceover was Mel C. So you know what? It looks like Liverpool won the tickets like ah, a little bit too. Uh, let me see here. I'm just trying to look for things to comment on. Did you vote 20 different? Like, oh, are you in Europe? So like you called 20 times? I want to know how that display went. Or if you have 20 credit cards. Because if you do, Hi. Let's see, vote for Serbia. Serbia's on the recap right now for us here. Serbia did bring an excellent performance. It really, really did. That was some cheers for France that we just heard on the recap. Okay, so you voted for Serbia 20 times on one card. You know what? Good for you. Give, give Serbia your support. I really think that they're going to do decently. I really do. Oh, I'm sorry. We have a Spanish person here, so. Blanca, poor girl, she worked so hard. All three parties and absolutely so good. Honestly, she did amazing. Blanca Paloma, you guys should be so proud of her in Spain. I mean, if Spain wants to host, I'm not angry about it. I'll let Spain host. I need to go to Spain still because, uh, fun fact, my father is from Spain. And I have, oh, let's the, the drink rocks. Check, hold on. I had to pause you guys for a second because the cheers for uh, for Finland were so big. But no, I, I wouldn't be mad because I need to go. To I need to go to Spain anyway um, because I have my dad's ashes that need to be put into the Atlantic Ocean. So I can go for a trip to Spain. Honestly, never underestimate Moldova. Moldova knows how to party, and Moldova knows that Europe wants a party. They are so good at bringing like the energetic, fun songs with interesting staging. Like I will never, I'm always happy to have Moldova in the final because they always bring something different.
Okay, we got lots of cheers for Moldova too. Like just kind of in the recap, Moldova got some love. And we do have someone here with uh, their flags and everything out too. Well, let me just say again, this is kind of amazing. I've never had like a full, because I would say the last couple of times that I have done Eurovision in the States, I've been at an embassy. And so although it's celebratory, it's a little bit formal because you're in an embassy. Yeah, I've done, I've done Eurovision finals at embassies, maybe there were three times. But it's still a little bit like I gotta, I gotta keep my composure. I gotta keep it, you know. I gotta keep it classy. Oh, yeah, I gotta I keep it together. I'm like, I would even say, let's be in the embassy in the cheap, with an inside of one from. You know what I mean? You feel like you gotta go in a little bit elevated. So this is the first time I feel like I've just been in like crowd, and honestly, something that mirrors that of what you experience when you're in Europe at a pub in like your neighborhood bar. Like you know, we know Slovenia has been having watch parties. Slovenia's up right now. We know Slovenia has been having watch parties. We know so many countries have been having like theaters bought out for people who want to like cheer on. And I think there is like a different vibe once you get to have that. And so, yeah, so I feel like I'm getting a little bit of that right now. Yeah. Because most of the time when I'm in Europe, I'm watching it. Well, Israel, because I couldn't make it to the arena. I was in my Airbnb alone. Solo, solo, kind of. And then, you know, but then I didn't get the, but I didn't get the press room experience, but nine times out of ten, I'm in the press room. And even last year, if I look at Turin, you know, I was doing the American, the U.S. broadcast for the grand final, which was awesome. It's an amazing, amazing opportunity. Shout out to Ewan from um, ESC Insights. And also, shout out to Sam Ross from uh, 12 Points from America, that podcast, who are holding it down this year. And I was so grateful for that opportunity to do it last year. But again, I, like even last year, I wasn't even in the massive sort of press room experience. I was sort of sitting in an experience. Oh my goodness. Oh, we're getting to the, so I think the voting lines are closing, but we're getting to the performances. So imagine is Mahmood. And honestly, I kind of want y'all to just hear that. I just vibe to that. Um, yeah, enjoying this. I'm going to go ahead and mute this. I'll come back. Elodie, I won't forget you. About it, the vote is open longer, but once we get done with the intervals, everything goes pretty fast. I'm not gonna lie, Emily, same. We have some Israelis in the tents. So they're going wild for Netta. Like, I didn't know I needed Netta doing a cover of this song, but I did. And I'm so happy we have it now, like, collectively as, as human beings. <laughs> I'm 
just like reaction, the reactions of people in the room too at the same time. I know this remix is so good. It's so good. The tent really, really enjoyed Netta. No, really, Daffy. This is the first time we're finally getting Daffy live on the Eurovision stage because, unfortunately, when it was his turn, he got sick. But we're going to take this moment. We're going to love it. Also, his little uh, album cover he did was hilarious if you haven't seen it on Twitter. And also, follow Daffy. He's going on tour soon. Like, go tour. Like, go see him live. He's really, really good live, I promise. such a good cover. I'm not a big fan of the original song, but I, I do like Doppy's version of it. And like the staging is so much fun with all the like with all the people dressed as Doppy in the background. Like this is just perfect. Um they're just choosing okay so basically oop let me see here. I just lost it. So basically, they wanted to just choose a bunch of songs by people from Liverpool, I think. Um, and that's why it's kind of random. It could be worse because we could have had a Beatles medley. But I think they were like, you know what? We saw Salvador Sobral's Beatles medley. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. It's on RTP's channel. It is the best Beatles medley we got all season period. So they saw what Salvador did. They're like, we can't top Salvador. Let's just go ahead and do some random, a little bit of everybody. This is Cornelia Jacobs. She sang for Sweden last year. Um, and she is singing I Turn to You by Mel C. If you don't know who Mel C is, I'm going to show my age. She's 40 Spice, okay? So I didn't know I needed a Mel C cover by Cornelia, but I got it and I'm happy that we have it. Maybe Chanel was busy, who knows? <laughs> Thoughts on Spain. Spain was fabulous. Um, you can really, truly tell that um, Blanca Paloma comes from a theater background because the control she has of her voice and the power she has when she does her vocal, flawless perfection. Love it. She's so good. And, like, she ate her way into everyone's heart. Like, it, it's basically the same. It's an elevated version of what was at the national final. And if it's not broke, don't fix it. It was perfection. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Um, where are we at? Here. Also, sorry, it's tilted. The table is tilted, kind of, so it's easy for things to fall over. Okay. Let me see where are we at with comments. And you know what? I'm okay with that. But now it's time for Sonia. And if you are old like me, or if you're a Eurovision boomer like me. You know what it means? It's time to go back to 1993. Now, granted, Sonia did only come second to me. But I'm ready. I'm happy. And also, um, I'm sorry, the best Irish winner ever is Nave Kavanaugh. Fight me.
Exactly, that's what's happening there. And come on, Milk Nuts gives us medleys constantly, so why not let you know the UK do it? Yeah, no, my toes are enjoying Sonia. Oh my gosh, this got to be so much fun. I, I would love to talk to you about that. I have to know, what's your favorite year? Marion, I'm ready for the paella. If I don't get my paella, I'm going to be upset. I'm gonna, I, I, I'll go ahead and vote again and toss Spain to Florida, but if I don't get paella, I'm coming to your house for my paella. Song. I'm so happy they had Sonia come back. I just want to say I'm living in a tunnel of multiple voices in my head, but not so much multiple voices in my head. I'm queuing for a BBC Five interview, and they're gonna wait until. So I've got four minutes to go. Um, but I have to say, so Margarita says, "Well, we have Duncan every year." You know, I wouldn't have an issue so much with Duncan every year if it weren't for the debacle that went down in the Netherlands this year. What was that? What was that? And I mean, dear, it's kind of ironic they have him singing a song called "Walk Alone." After that <laughs> debacle that happened this year, I just, I'm just feeling a little bit like, y'all, you've been having this great track, re track record at the Eurovision Song Contest. Great track record at the Eurovision Song Contest. And then you want to sit up here and beep out the mess? What is that? We got Jam Slam saying thanks for another fun ESC stream. Voted for Finland, Norway, Sweden, Ukraine. Hope you're not upset about the joke. He looks like my favorite NBA player, Russell Westbrook. I don't know if he looks like Russell Westbrook. I don't know. Lily, do you see it? Um, I don't watch the NBA. I only watch WNBA. Uh, okay. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Um, but let's see. But thank you, Jam. Thank you. Thank you. We need it. We need it. Had a whole event here with performers. Needed to pay, said performers. For year, um, does BBC understand that it is 12 a.m.? I need the jury vote. I'm falling asleep with this song. Look, that is something that I thought about. Because I thought that the show was starting at 2 p.m. Eastern time. So an hour earlier, CET. That's what I thought. Because I thought, surely... They'll want to wrap things up sooner. But no, I was wrong <laughs> with my timing. Yeah, Lily. Yeah, no, I thought the same. I'm so used to everything being into ET time. Um, and so I was like, oh, right, the UK is an hour behind, you know, Central Europe. And then, like, Portugal's also an hour behind Central Europe. But Portugal put it on at the same time we normally be in Central Europe. They were sensitive to the fact that people got to go to bed. Um, and I mean, even then, like Azerbaijan and like Russia, when they hosted and they're, they're an hour ahead, they did everything later to be on Central European time. Yeah, and I'm getting to that point where I'm like, I need another drink. I need another drink. Oh, I'm going to have to get another one before this voting starts. It's going to have but, to happen. But I have to say, um, so we got this we got this crowd happening. So my BBC interview is going to start at 6 a.m. So I'm going to have to drop out for just a little bit. But I will say, it doesn't seem like the crowd is really enthralled by this interval act currently. No. We'll see what they happens. They don't seem to be enthralled. Comes. You know what? Yeah. So let's... I got to drop out. I, I do have to drop out. 
But Lily, if you could hold on for five more minutes, and hopefully oh, this interview you. will wrap. I got you. All right, I was just checking to see the timeline, what's happening after this. I love my notebook at home, guys. Okay, we're going to have a third recap, and once that third recap is open, is over, we're going to have the voting period end. So we've got about three minutes left to vote. If you haven't voted yet, go ahead and get your votes in, y'all. I'm just going to highlight some comments as we go. Voting for Portugal, lots of love. You keep giving us that love. I want the curse of number two to be, but if anyone can beat the curse of number two, it's Miss Mimi Cat, okay? Some love for um, Serbia. Oh, no, you say Slavia. I call, um, for Serbia, I call them Serbia, not Serbia. I'm sorry. <laughs> Kitchen of Eurovision. I don't know. I'll have you some chips. I'm working on. Love for Sweden. More love for Portugal. Honestly, I would love to see Bulgaria and Hungary come back. My issue is with Hungary. They're not going to come back as long as Orban is in charge. If Orban was not in charge, I feel like Hungary would have come back. And I know Turkey, I think the one guy running against Erdogan has said if Turkey, if he wins, he wants to go back to Eurovision. So, you know, <laughs> that's happening tomorrow. Um, so, yeah, maybe we might get Turkey back next year if everything goes well. See, lots of love for Armenia. Let's see here. Vote 20 for Norway. Honestly, okay, so if you want to be back in time for the voting... Um, you've got about, I don't know, you've got about five minutes, well, actually more like three minutes if you want to go grab something to eat. If you think you can be back in time, then go ahead. Ooh, this is a good question. Alberto. Hello. Oh, I clicked on the wrong person. There's Alberto. Hello, Alberto. Um, who will finish last? Oh, you were away for a while. I'm thinking. I was gonna say Poland, but Poland's gonna eat Televote Love because that song is just so catchy and fun. Um maybe Switzerland. We'll see. Um, because I don't see a lot of Televote Love. Well, they also qualified though. So we'll see. It might be Switzerland, it might be Poland. I'll go between those two as who I think is gonna come last. All right, we've got about about two minutes two minutes left before we go into results, um, and that will just be the jury votes coming through in about two minutes. And I'm gonna have to definitely get another drink before we get to those. So give me, give me one second to order a beverage. I'm back. I'm back, kids. I'm back, children. Were you guys good? Well. Okay. 
Oh, we're on a bit of a delay here in the U.S. So I think the voting's closed in the U.S. Okay, so we're on the voting countdown over here. Eight. Three, two, one. Is it the nerves getting to you? <laughs> yeah, no, same, same. But not really, I just need more booze. Yeah, we're on Abba here. Oh, yeah. When the votes come in, I am not looking at chat. I'm letting you know that right now. So y'all reacting, I'm not going to pay attention to. Got lots of Maniskin fans, though. I'm thinking we're about to be good to go. So we're going to see what happens here. Fingers crossed. I hope everyone's favorites. I hope we're going to see everyone's favorites in the green room at least once. How about that? Okay, I'm not gonna lie. The voting is kind of my favorite part every year, so um, I'm not gonna be looking at chat. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes. Um, 
You are, but you know what? Once the show's over, if you're like me and you love to dig through those results, we're going to be digging through those results to find out how the rest of the world votes. I am curious. I wonder what our tastes are like. Oh. Okay. I saw that over the wrong comment. Yeah, I'm, I'm, once the show's over, I can't wait to look at the results and find out like how the rest of the world voted. So we're going to start off with Ukraine. Slava looks great. One second. Their 12 points went to Sweden. Okay, you know what? Let's go and see. Let's see. Let's see if Maureen has another night like she did in 2012, y'all. Let's see if it's another night like 2012. So my room loved that. Italy gave their love to Israel. Okay. So the juries went for that one. Hold out, hold out hope. Hold out hope for her. Because remember, we always knew going into this, Norway was going to be more popular with the televote. Oh. Who remembers Alicia's interview on the, on the turquoise carpet last year with these guys? I'm gonna have to make sure Alicia knows that her man's friend told him Happy Mother's Day. Okay, guys, we're still early in the jury. Okay, you know what, neighbors, neighbors, and Alika's vocal was fantastic. So 12 from Latvia to Estonia, you know what? I appreciate the vocal getting its love. Alicia is doing an interview with BBC Five right now. Oh, it's Steen from the Netherlands giving their points. Okay. So the Netherlands gave Finland 10 points. Oh, no, I'm sorry. The Netherlands gave Finland 10. Okay, so they gave their points to Sweden. They're 12 to Sweden. Yeah. Okay, sorry y'all for the delay. I've been, I was on a little bit of an interview. All right. Okay, so let's start to get Jerry Love Sweden? now. Do you think? Probably Sweden. Thank you for hosting an amazing Malta gave some love to Italy, which is not crazy. That's what I'm looking at right now. Who's that talking about? And the vacancy. Sweden. Yeah, Malta obviously is going to get to Sweden. That's no surprise. Um, Poodleberry is saying Sweden getting a lot of love from the jury. Are we surprised? We have to remember, the juries are comprised of industry, industry professionals. Not only industry professionals as musicians, but also television industry professionals. And so I, I think I want to say this as quickly as I possibly can. But a lot of these people are young. Like, some, like I shouldn't say a lot, but some of these people are young. And even for the people who are older, they remember Eurovision pre-2012. And they are the people that had a front row seat to what happened after she won in 2012. So these people were coming in 
thinking of this woman as the woman who turned the page for them. Moldova gave their 12 points to Sweden. Was that surprising? I don't think so. I mean, Romania's not there, so. Well, that's true. I like how they show us the jury. I mean, I just will say, I'm here for a jury that can maybe surprise us. Maybe they're like looking at the odds and they're like, we don't want everyone to think that they can just fill in the blanks with us, you know? Oh, Ireland. My favorite. I mean, it doesn't feel like anything shady here. They gave two points to the UK. That doesn't feel shady for Ireland. There's a lot of overlap between the music and the Yes. I've got my champagne because if you had bought your VIP ticket, you would have your Prosecco. I'm like, I'm not even, I don't even know if I want to sip it now. <laughs> okay, I just no, did. My, my highlighter is Prosecco. I call it Prosecco in the night. No, 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 no. You're coming over here to the VIP Cabana after. Okay, we're going to San Marino. Italy, 12 points. Wait, but okay, they gave four points to Sweden. They gave 10 to Estonia. I love that. And I just want to say Lithuania. Lithuania has points coming through. And we said that. We said that. Someone said Spain flopping hard with the jury and... They're only flopping. They have 20 points. They're not flopping. Sacharino go to Italy. Ah, bellissima. Italia. I mean, we know. We know. They don't want to get invaders. They have to be careful. Can I just say I love the combo of Hannah and Graham for these points? I love it. We knew Azerbaijan was going to show some love to Sweden. Did Spain beat some of these juries up? Did they beat them up? Did they beat them up? Did they fight them? Did they go? Azerbaijan gave their 12 points to Israel, which honestly is not crazy to me. That's not crazy. That's not crazy at all. Well, also, like, her vocal was together this evening. The camera cuts were great. Hello. Yeah, definitely a third. Okay, Austria, just look for me, please. Yes, we're going to be Austria. I'm going to tell it's okay. Okay, but turn to like that. I mean, I don't know if y'all can see. This is what I'm looking at right now. So I've got Australia. Austria. And literally every year he's in this shirt now. It's been like three, four, five years. Solid. So Austria gave their 12. Can I just say, can I just say. Jury, this is when you want to show up for Italy? This is the year you want to show up for Italy? Are you joking? Like, no, but seriously, y'all don't want to show up in their winning year? Yeah. Get together. Get together. Yeah. I, that's why, that's why, that's why y'all was talking about trying to bring the juries back when Georgia didn't make it. Give me a break. I, I don't need them. I don't need, I don't need them in my Eurovision. I don't know about y'all, especially now that I can vote. <laughs> especially now that I can vote, like, <laughs> but I'm not, but overall, let's, let's get another view. Let's get another view of the leaderboard. Okay, so we got France, and we know France. France and Italy, to me, are like the messiest juries. So let's see what France said. Oh, do they have Angoon? Oh, I'm happy about that. She looks great. I love her. But still slightly messy because they could have given Switzerland a little bit of love. They didn't even have... Uh, so wait, hold on. They give six points to Sweden. They always be messy. And they're giving it to Israel. Let me just. I'm, 
they, I'm not mad at Israel getting the 12 points, but if you look at the rest of the numbers, France just consistently shows up as one of the messiest, funky juries. And that's, and honestly, y'all, I'm going to tell you right now, that's why France is not winning Eurovision anytime soon. Because one, they won't give us what we want. They won't get, give us what we want. No, Finland. They're going to give it to Sweden. They're oh, and what did Finland do? Sweden. Finland do. Okay, they gave Switzerland, Czechia, France. Okay, did they give some love? Hold on, hold on, real quick. Did they give some love to Germany? No. But wait, they didn't give no love to Germany? Did they, they didn't give any love to Slovenia? Did they give some love to Australia? They didn't even give any love to Australia. Your clowns, Finland. Your clowns. Your clowns. Finland, you are the metal country. What are you doing, class? What are you doing, Finland? What was that? Finland's not playing to win. Finland, y'all know how much I love you. You're not gonna give anything to Germany. You're not gonna give anything to Australia. It's giving fishy. It's giving mess. And Loki, you know I'm always here for the mess. To be fair, but like nothing for Slovenia, nothing for Australia, nothing for Germany. It's weird. It's giving weird. It's giving weird. First Okay, Austria got their first 12 points. We love it. Zero, zero, zero. <laughs> At least it pays to be funny. Oh. Poodleberry, Austria is up to 34 points. We like it, we like it, we like it. But Finland, but Finland, low key. I just have to, I just have to say, y'all know how much I love y'all. That jury felt messy. It felt messy. It felt like, let's not vote for something like us. Let's not do that. That's not being united by music. Okay, Germany. Germany showed some love for Australia. They showed some love. Okay, well, but Germany's going to do Sweden. Germany's gonna do 12 points, Sweden. That's what I believe. Okay, come through. Come on, give it to Finland. And 12 points. But Germany, oh, they didn't give anything to Finland. Sweden. Germany didn't give anything to Finland. The juries. Can I? Hold on, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm taking off, I'm taking off all the moments, because we need, we need to have a conversation. We need to have a conversation, and it's going to be all, I, wait, hold on, can I, can I just say, hold on, wait. Um, we've got Portugal, model is back, this is great, Spain, Estonia, Czechia, they get five points to Sweden, which I'm actually not surprised about. Australia is getting the 12 points from Portugal, which actually doesn't feel that crazy for Portugal. But I just want to have a moment. <laughs> you all were talking so hard off of these semifinals that really weren't even that groundbreaking. Yes, we lost Georgia, and I felt like we should have had Georgia. But y'all was talking like you wanted them back. You still want them back after this? I mean, we're not, we're not halfway through. We're not halfway through. But still, don't you see the mess that they be pulling? Don't you see this? Foolish. Foolish. All right. I'm just gonna say, okay, my 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 rant is over. My rant is over. Oh yeah, I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that at all. I just am kind of irked that this is the year that Italy is gonna get some jury love after you pay after you paid them dust for years. Yeah. Estonia, come on, Finland. There we go. Estonia, ten for Finland. So Estonia is gonna give it to Sweden. Yeah, Estonia is gonna give it to Sweden. But only one point for Lithuania, not off neighbors, but just off vocal. And then Spain had to. I'm just waiting for the televote, the, the vote that matters. The vote that matters. Yeah, Sony gave it to Sweden. That makes sense. What do we think about the Finnish-Swedish gap? Hmm? What do we feel about the Swedish-Finnish gap? 
It's only 100 points. As long as Finland so stays okay. in the top 10 on the jury, I'm not worried. Can you hear me? Armenia, let's see. I'm waiting for Melina to turn 16 to show them about adult Eurovision. Look, we need Melina at Eurovision. Come on now, y'all. Uh -huh. We need her at Eurovision so we can get that Armenian win that is overdue. Overdue. Oh, yeah. What's these girls? It's overdue. Okay, so Ricardo is saying, so 12 points from Israel, 12 points to Israel from Armenia. Not crazy, though. That actually makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. Wait, let's, I mean, they're not holding up the, the leaderboard enough. I, I love that we're getting a lot of Graham and Hannah, but I want the, I want more, I want more leaderboard. I want more leaderboard. I mean, honestly, Finland's winning the Televo. We don't have to worry about that. So Sweden is just storming. Poland, what do you think Poland's going to do? Ukraine. Ukraine. They're going to get 12, they're going to get 12 points to Ukraine. Okay, we're getting more leaderboard. Oh, Israel got another 12 points. Okay, that's a little surprising for me. Is the jury going to kill Marine? Wait, what? Did they even vote for Ukraine? Did they even vote for you? This jury is. Uh, it's off to Romania now. Uh, is the jury trying to eliminate itself in the final as well? Okay, Romania, come through. Moldova. <laughs> oh no, they only gave seven to Moldova. Italy. When I'm Moldova, Italy. you are yeah, including in the beautiful world. I'm going to just tell you right now, the jury is hot pissed that their voices were not heard in the semifinals, and now they showed up at the final, causing chaos, causing chaos, just causing mess. Oh, they get point. Hold, hold on real quick, hold on real quick, hold on real quick. Where was the love and support for Italy in 2015? Where was the support and love for Italy in 2021? Oh, you know, now y'all want to show up for Italy? Okay. I can't. I can't. I can't. I mean, I'm happy for Marco. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying now, all of a sudden, y'all want to wake up to the fact that Italy has been serving us quality for the past couple of years? Huh? Yeah, but they did not win the jury in 2021. The, the jury paid Italy dust in 2021. And when I say dust, not dust. coming top three. So they should have been top three in the jury on 2021. Yeah. They, thank God for the televote because Italy should have won. Yes. And now we have a global Eurovision success story of Monoskin. No thanks to these folks. Nope. No thanks to these folks. And oh, now you want to show up? I can't with you. I can't with you. You can stay your butts in this grand final. We don't want you in the semis. Because this, like, it's funky. Oh God, every, I, I could look at everyone's and be like, really? 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 That's what you said? That's what all, that's what all of you agreed on? <laughs> mess. Mess. They are. They're mess. I, get out of there. Lily, you better stop trying to stand for these ridiculous juries of people talking about nothing I'm, I'm wait I'm waiting now I'm just like is the is the new bathroom break gonna be the jury voting sequence is that where we're gonna live now is that gonna be the new bathroom break because today's show was amazing I was sad that I had to find a break because the show was so good I was getting great commentary I was getting all of these amazing like little skits and stuff like that maybe I should have held my bowels <laughs> For this sequence, foolish, foolish. Cause I, yeah. I, I, could, I could poke holes, I could poke holes in all of these juries. I don't understand I'm what's happening this year. Saying, I mean, whatever. I, it just to me, what feels fraud? Can I just say this, Lily? What feels fraud to me? Finland's jury seems fraud. 
Italy and France always come with the messy jury. So I'm just living in like graduated Eurovision territory where I don't even look at their stuff because it always feels like y'all was just picking the stuff that wasn't like what you said. Other than, sorry, that's what, yeah, Italy and France. Sorry, I said Italy and France. They just always pick the thing that's least like them, and then they reward it. Which also might beg the question, maybe France, like, maybe you don't like what you're sending if you're not choosing anything that you really like. Question mark, I'm just throwing it out there. Thoughts coming through my brain. France? Right, so I just want to bring up Margarita. The jury last year didn't give Armenia a single chance, and Rosalind was the only one who became famous. I mean, let's be real. Let's yeah. be real. Okay, so we got Sweden, Italy, Israel, Estonia, Finland. I mean, I don't mind this. I'm surprised that Estonia is cutting in more than Lithuania a little bit. Just off of, but maybe that's like fandom pad. We knew that the we knew that Finland was going to be paid dust by the juries, but I thought that the juries would at least have a fifth, and right now they're in fifth position yeah, with I the know. juries. Like what man? So with the I think they were fifth or fourth with the jury. Monaskin was fifth or fourth. Yeah. I'm not. Can I tell you? Can I tell you? Okay. Iceland. Iceland is the only jury that I actually feel like. Oh, they gave I, I, I just said, No, no, no. But Iceland, I'm telling you, Iceland's jury never feels funky. It really feels like that group of people are just picking what they like. It's never felt funky to me. Ever, ever, ever. It's never felt funky to me. Honestly, low key, I would like Einar's other band to go to Eurovision. Oh, we already know what's happening here. Australia. Iceland gave their 12 points to Australia, and I am so and grateful you know for them. I am grateful mad. for them. I'm not mad at it at all. They gave Germany two points. You know, they gave Germany finally, Germany's finally on the board. I will just say, I'm putting back up the Washington, D.C. Wonder Garden audience of people. They were clapping. They were clapping. Okay. Okay, we're at Serbia. Okay. Oh, she looks cute. Yeah, we need a little bit of Slovenian love. Yeah, I, I need to see the leaderboard. I need to see the leaderboard. Shoot Shout out to Serbia, one of the best national selections we had today. Oh, good. Serbia gave 12 yes. points to Slovenia. Deserved. I'm into it. Deserved. Thank you. Thank you. Let's write some of these wrongs. Let's okay. write some of the Absolutely wrongs. Deserved. Good evening, Cyprus. Okay. Thank you for the taste, Serbia. I hope you can answer the question. Let's go into Sweden. Okay, music city. Oh, Cyprus. They don't have Greece. So it's gonna be oh, yeah. Cyprus is going to give it to Sweden. You broke my unbroken heart. Broke, broke my unbroken heart. Good evening, Europe. This is Nicosia calling. It's a Come through Cyprus. Okay, I like the blazer. Oh, okay. No, no, no. It's going to Sweden. It's going to Sweden. It's going to Sweden. From Cyprus, go to. Sweden. Sweden. Yes, okay. 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 Okay, the crowd. The crowd. Ikea is excited. But remember, the Oh, Ikea. So let me just tell you. At the Washington, D.C. watch party, we had a contest. We had some people win. We could guess that country. Oh, we got Norway. Yum, yum. Oh, oh, look, wait. Wait, well, well then where's Norway? Norway? Yeah, so who Norway. are they going to give it to? Is it going to be Finland? Oh, it has to be Finland. No, it has to be Finland. Okay. It, has to be Finland. Okay. it has to be Finland. Norway's giving their 12 points. Yeah, no, Finland. Yeah, Norway's giving the 12 to Finland. Oh, it's a uh, Norwegian jury. And the 12 points from the Norwegian jury go to Finland. 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 Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, Norway. 
Yes, Norway had it together. Wait, but Sweden hasn't given their points. We're going in alphabetical order, right? No, they, they, no they, we are. Oh, randomize we're not? It. We had to cause the most Ukraine, drama. Italy, huh? and they're randomizing now. Oh, so they're the, randomizing so it. So see who's going yeah. with what points and they find the Okay, so so I've got someone in the VIP section. The VIP section is coming with the facts. Let's ten just no 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 hold on just the wait. Okay, thank you. Algorithm making it So we got the we got the VIP section. So from what I understand, the previous years the producers because they know the jury results mix it up to make it the most interesting results. So we're always on edge of our seats. Okay, thank you. The VIP section is coming through. We've got the masses set up here in Washington, D.C., Switzerland. But you did say. Wait, Switzerland could give. They're not going to give something to France? They didn't give anything to France. Where is France at? France has 27 points. Spain has 80. Um, Italy has 130. Okay, so Switzerland gave their 12 points to Czechia. I appreciate. I appreciate. I appreciate. I'm trying to weigh at where our where our big five is. Again, not enough scoreboard. Not enough scoreboard. Also, I'm not gonna lie. I'm happy to see Czechia getting some love, especially from the jury. I'm just. I okay. We've got Australia. Okay, and in this moment, I just want to see. And I'm not gonna lie. I need. Good day from Australia. Israel, Czechia, France, Israel, Czechia, or France? Our 12 points go to Israel, Belgium. Oh, oh yes, Australia! Yes, yes, Australia giving 12 points to Belgium. I love this moment. I was saying all along, I felt like the juries needed to rec to recognize Belgium because that's a vocal. That was a solid performance. Well, Australia's jury's never really been messy to me. I'm telling you, Italy. So we got Denmark. Oh, 12 points to Sweden. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. 12 points to Sweden. I mean... Demo. Yes, okay. 12 points goes to Sweden. Okay. Was it Duncan Lawrence? Okay. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Do we get a break between the jury? <laughs> it's a short break. Like, I can't even remember. I'm like, can I run to pee? Oh, look at, look at Sweden. Rosa. Sweden. I'm still waiting for the apology. Girl. Oh, they're going to give their 12 points to um, Sweden. Yeah, they're going to give their 12 points to Sweden, Spain, for sure. Yeah. So we got Germany at the bottom. Poland has 10 points. Germany has two points. I need to see more jury points. Okay. They're doing this on purpose. BBC, why you do me like that? I need to see just, I just want the leaderboard in the background. We're not getting enough of it. They're teasing me because they know I'm out here trying to do math. And I'm not fast with the maths. Israel's getting their 12 points to Sweden. Yeah, they definitely are. Yeah, they definitely are. Come on now, Israel. This year we mark the 50th year of the Israeli participation in the Eurovision Song. And as the first ever Israeli performer, I'm very happy to be here again. And I hope to be I just have to say, I, I don't like the way that I do think Finland and Israel are two countries that typically I think do less than what they deserve at Eurovision as a whole. Yeah. Like I just, especially when it comes to juries. So it's interesting that I feel like Italy and Israel, two countries that I feel like historically have not always shown up in the way with juries that I think that they should are doing so well this year. And I think it's because, I think it's because they were like, you weren't invited to the... 
You weren't invited to the semifinals, and now you all in your feelings. We don't have to worry about Sweden getting points here. Where are they going to give their 12s to them? Maybe, maybe Finland? Spain. 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 Sweden's going to give their 12 points to... Oh, Finland. Yeah, Finland. Uh, I was right. Yeah, Finland. That was nice. They didn't give anything to Spain? You would think that after being like, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. And actually, no, they're not even doing the leaderboard of the juries. Normally we get that little update on the screen that says like percentage of, I don't even know where we at now. I don't even know how many juries have gone. But right now our top three is Sweden, then it's Italy, then it's Israel. There's seven left. There's seven, 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 seven left. left. Jesus. The number of jury left is in the bottom right uh, bottom right corner. Can you hear me? This is jury thirty one. No, we got six in Okay, we got Georgia next. Okay, come through Georgia. Okay, Beautiful. What do we think they'll do? Slovenia or or Czechia? Yeah, Slovenia, Czechia. Yeah. I mean, I'm like, what's li missing? Austria, 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 or Ukraine? Austria or Ukraine? They're gonna do Ukraine. Which one? Oh, they gave their 12 points to Belgium. Oh, I'm not mad at that at all. Come through. I said I thought Belgium was gonna come come top 10 at the jury after they qualified. I said that. Let's see, let's see. We also said Estonia would get more points than Lithuania. I did say that. I was like, because I was like, I think it's more inventive. I think it's the more ambitious. Yeah, I was like, I think it's the more ambitious ballot. Sorry, I'm just talking to people in the VIP section. <laughs> okay, Czechia. Oh, Czechia. Czechia be with the mess too. Don't play. They be with the mess too. So I'm curious. They gave Slovenia some love. Ukraine. Yeah, you, they did. Czechia did Ukraine. Come on now. Germany is at the bottom. Why Germany is at the bottom? I do not know. They do not know give me that well. They really don't. I mean, it's an it's an acquired taste. It's an acquired taste. I don't okay, want Okay, Slovenia. You know, we really need a Vulcan win. We're way overdue a Vulcan win. I just want to just say that. I mean, my pocketbook is not upset. Okay, so right now we got Finland. We got Finland in fourth position, so they're still in a great spot to win. Yeah, they are. They really are. That makes sense. Italy. Okay, Italy got 12 points. Okay. Yo, this is the first year that the jury has decided to show up for Italy, and I am so happy. Where have y'all been? Where the hell have you been the past fucking 10 years? Seriously. Seriously. Is this really way too loud? I can back up. Where the hell have you been? Where the hell have you been? Wait, Greece. Did not give the 12 points. Oh, my God. What? What? Oh my god, what the hell happened? Is he mad? Greece is pissed off. Greece is upset. Greece said, bump y'all. Greece said, you can lick my toes. They said, Here, here's some numbers for you. They're going to give it to Italy. They're going to give it to Italy. Greece is going to go. Oh my goodness. What? 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 Greece said we hate you. Greece said we hate you. Greece said Greece said we hate you. We hate you. You said we can't be in the final. Bump it. But as a result, Belgium is getting a well-deserved 12 points. The performance was vocal perfection. They were giving us black queer realness. I know Europe, y'all wanted to own it as like just gay and like queer. They were giving you black. Queerness, and I'm owning it. 
I mean, TikTok. <laughs> Black queerness in the best way. In the best way. Thank you, Gustav. I feel seen. But Greece is pissed off. Well, yeah, I'm not surprised. Okay. I'm surprised Italy didn't get it. I thought I thought Greece was gonna give it to Italy. Yeah. Greece said. Oh. Greece said. You know who's Lithuania? Greece, Greece said. <laughs> it's like Monica. Monica. Uh, my mother. Uh, Monica. Yes, Monica, our girl, girl. You know, because everyone knows I would have been here for. If that would have won last year, you guys would still be here singing. Come on. Because our 12 points go to Finland's in reach. Finland's in reach. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. She's almost okay. I don't think she's going to do that well. Oh my goodness. I don't think she will. Oh my goodness, Monica. I don't think so. Monica. I think that the audience, I think the audience. Yo, the audience, the audience is hot pissed. They're hot pissed. They're all saying cha, 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 cha. Oh! Greece not giving Cyprus their 12 points is my highlight of the season so far. It's open to the cameraman falling over in Croatia. Yes, girl. Is she drunk? Oh my God, Catherine Tate. Let me just tell you. Part of my Eurovision true introductory phase was me working for Carnival Cruise Lines. I was one of two Americans in my like main team, and I was babe in Catherine Tate. Literally babe. Okay, the UK points. The UK points actually seem real. No, but this actually makes sense to me. The UK points don't seem foul. And the 12 points. Sweden. Sweden. Oh wait, Finland. France. Finland. Sweden. Sweden. I thought that the UK could have given some love to Finland because I'll tell you the UK public, I think is definitely on the cha 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 train. Ooh, y'all! Um, look, 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 look! The juries did not show up in this portion in the way that they needed to show up after being banned from the semifinals. I'm just gonna keep it cute. Okay, I'm just gonna keep it cute, real, fresh, and authentic. That's what you come to me for. So the juries have Sweden in the lead, and I mean the lead is vast. Israel's number two with the jury. Italy is below Israel, which feels odd a little bit. I mean, but Israel, I do think, was worthy of top ten. And I would argue off of tonight's performance, worthy of top five. I would argue if we're going to pick a bop to advance. I so I don't have that much of a gap, y'all. I have to yeah. pee. I, mean, that's so calm. It just looks like I have to pee so, so bad. And you know what? You know what? Maybe I did not utilize my pee breaks during the show. Because I was so enthralled with the running order. I was enthralled. So, Master, Finland can still win with a four... Oh, Master. Could Finland get 400 televote points? Ukraine hit the record, but Ukraine, what what did Ukraine get last year, Lily? You really think that Finland will be able to clear that? I mean, I'm not a hater. I'm really just talking about maths, which was not my favorite subject. So I just don't know if the maths will work out. Because now the way that we're looking at this is a potential split screen between like Lorian and Israel, Lorian and Marco. That's not realistic. 
that's not realistic. It's looking like a young Olympic situation where the votes were messy, and it's just like, oh, you weren't, you weren't even, but like you weren't even deserving of being in the split screen. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, are we gonna get Finland and Sweden? I don't know. Okay, come on, Martin. I want to know what the rest of the world said. We need justice. <laughs> And the rest of the world has spoken! Ukraine got 439 on the televote. Wait, what? Oh, so Ukraine got 439. Do you think that Finland could clear in that way? I don't know, because I think I think we're gonna get because I think no, because I think we're gonna get some Finland love. I think Finland could still win the televote, but I think Sweden's cutting into that. I I think um I, I think Croatia is going to cut into that. Hell, I think Lithuania is going to come into that. Where's my wine? The wine moms are ready. Yeah, um, Ukraine got 439 of the televote last year. Okay, okay. Okay, wait, we're getting the televote. This year, that is Germany. And we will go on in order. Okay, Germany. I said, I thought, I thought this was a year for no, no point. No nail point. No nail point. Let's find the winner of the Eurovision Song Contest 2023. Last year, next. Germany is not going to be last. Oh, but Croatia was paid just by the juries. We knew that Poland. The juries could have done more for Serbia, but UK is not great. Germany got 15 points from the Telebo. Good enough, good enough, good enough, good enough. And they're gonna still probably end up last. Good enough. Hold on, let's see. Oh my god, 112 points? Now my hopes for Finland are dashed a little bit. Here's the thing, here's the thing, here's the thing. Okay, someone said Germany should have been prepared for this. Germany and and someone said, okay, Poodleberry said Germany should have been uh, no 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 no. Maiden said Germany flopping once again. I don't see it as a flop. I don't see it as a flop. They're on a good path. They're on a good path. Yeah. Poland. Wait. Poland, what did Poland get? Poland got eighty-one points, so less than Croatia, but they didn't get paid Serbia. dust. Voting at home. Serbia. Sixteen points, okay. I need to see the second Oh, okay. Germany last. Oh, come on, I don't want Germany last. You don't deserve it. Hold on. I'm Hold next. on. It's the turn of the United Kingdom. I have to go to the bathroom so bad. The public vote has awarded you nine points. Oh. The United Kingdom got nine points. Not going to be last. Albania is going to get more points than that. Germany's going to last. Oh, come on. That's not fair. But wait, but wait. But last of 18 points is different than last, like nil and like last. Okay, Albania got 59 points. I feel good about that. Oh, I don't like Germany being on the bottom. I don't like that. You don't need to be down there. Germany deserves Cause better. That than that. No, because that national selection was actually quite as it's kept good. Moldova got 76 points. I feel it. I feel it. That's what I was expecting from Moldova. Yeah. How yeah. I feel, I feel it. I feel it. The public vote has given you. Are we going to get like a special rest of the world vote moment? We really should. If this is the first year, like we deserve our moment. 45. 45 for Slovenia. Uh, okay. Portugal. Okay, the public. Sixteen points. Okay, Portugal got sixteen points. Okay, it's something I g I gave my points, but that's true. No, that's true. Have awarded you. I think Finland would get more points. Norway. Two hundred and sixteen points for Norway. Everyone said she, Queen of the Kings, running so fast. That song, that song, that song. People carried that song through. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at it. 
received 50 points. France got 50 points from the televote. Okay, it's something. It's something. But remember, it was going to win. Yeah. It's going to be C-Bet 3. I feel like you're digging at me now. Yes. <laughs> I'm great. What? Yes. Okay, that's good. You received... I should have said it was Nigerian. 21 points. 41. 31. Switzerland, 31 points. Less than Portugal. Maybe 12 from the Wasn't that less than Portugal? Portugal got like 50 or something, right? 58 no? points. What? More than Switzerland. Why? Cyprus, 58 points. That feels right. I mean, oh, yeah. I have to go to the bathroom. 53 points. Okay. 53. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad at it. Left hand side, left hand side. Okay. Lithuania, curious, curious. People at home have given you 46 points. Oh, 46, okay. Okay, Lithuania should be proud of that. Lithuania should be proud of that. Let's see how Chucky is doing. It is getting very tense. We only have 10 countries left to announce. But do bear in mind the leaderboard could still all change. Czechia, you're up next. 50 points. After the audience vote, you received. Czechia. 35 points. Oh, 35 points. They did not do well with the televote. In the grand scheme of things, they did not do well with the televote. I would just say, I like to see the total points. But it'd be great to see a little rubric below that says what they got in the jury and then the... Spain got five points with the televote. They could worse than Germany. Augusto, Augusto. I hope you're okay. How dare they? Wait, Austria got 16 points? Finland. Finland took those points. I just hope that these Guys, low points Finland, mean that we really focused in and honed in on our folks. Let's find out how Australia Points. Told you. Australia only had 21 points? Finland, I'm telling you, let's all go. I just Finland. hope, I just hope that these low points are equaling to the televote coalescing and just going, you know what, I need to make sure that my vote counts to really decide the winner. That's the world I'm living in right now. Estonia got 22 points. Finland, Finland's up next. Finland's up next. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on this is actually the moment. Come on, Finland. Come on, Finland. Come on, Finland. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing? My wallet is screaming. My wallet is screaming. Finland, after the public voted, you received. Finland. Three hundred and seventy-six points. Finland yes. is triumphantly yes. at the top of the leaderboard currently. Yes. They are there. They are there comfortably. They are there comfortably. We will see where we land with the rest of these points. But, but we have to look at the map. We have to look at the map. Show the leaderboard, BBC. Stop playing with me. Show the leaderboard. Do not 
Fly with me. Let's check BBC. Out. So we've got a four-way split screen. Finland, Sweden, Israel, Italy. I'm not, well, because we know Italy's going to get some televoting points. But maybe is this the year that Italy gets paid dust with the televote? Since the jury all of a sudden decided to wake up to the quality that was Italy? Italy, Israel, Come on. Come on. You're killing me. I have to use the restroom. Italy's going to get something. Italy's going to get a lot. It's going to be over 100 points. It's going to be over 100 points. It has to be. It has to be. So what does Sweden have to do? Quick math. Oh my goodness. I just want to say for the record, I'm not mad that Israel is here. Sweden and Finland are here. Noah really rose to the occasion. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. The crowd is saying Finland. Yo, my pocketbook would be so grateful. Israel got 185 points. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. What's the difference? Come on. Someone get a calculator. 227, Alicia. 227. Oh my god, I have to go so bad. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She might not have gotten it. Israel. Italy might have cut in. What is happening? That would have to be a lot. I don't think there's that I don't think there's that much left. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. She needs more UMK was the best national selection we had this year. Best national selection we had this year. Are we going to get a, a U production for Eurovision 2024? Hold on, hold on. Stop it. She got it. I don't think she did. I hope not. I think she did. I think she did. I think she did, but I hope not. I don't think so. The public has given you. Oh my God. Told you, we're too wait, wait, wait. She won. 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 Wait. 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 She won. Wait. She won. Wait. 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 Wait.
I just want to say I would have loved to have seen her back at the Eurovision Song Contest with Statements because that was a song that I think reverberated throughout the world and I would have loved to have seen her back and I feel like I feel like I have okay I feel oh my god <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You can say what you want about pop perfection and the way that Sweden produces music, and you can say that you don't like it, but Lorian has her. never been that type of That's artist. No, she has never been that type of artist. She has always been artful, and she has always been in the studio and worked. She has always been so thoughtful with the way that she has approached her career. And and she deserves this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. She deserves this moment. She deserves this moment. Now, I will tell you, I love Finland's entry. I love what Blanca Paloma did. I have been a Lorian fan. When I tell you the first time that I saw Euphoria, are you joking me? I watched it on a loop, on a loop, on a loop. I couldn't just listen to the studio cut. I had to watch it live. That's the type of performer that she is. That is the power of her. Yeah. And I don't want anyone saying that this was a cakewalk for her. I don't want anyone saying that this was a cakewalk for her. Because Finland, amazing. Spain, amazing. Israel, amazing. Okay? It was a great, it was a great year. It was I a have great to year. get it together. I have to get it together. I have to get it together. I have to get it together. I believe in you. Uh, I just, oh. Honestly, I'm just going to say, what I, do we think, or uh, here's my, do we think Ireland's going to come together now? Because I, I had my little theory that once Sweden came and got, you know, that semblance, I would have to get it together because I've been wrestling over the world for too long. Let me just say, this was not a cakewalk for her. No, it was not. Finland killed it. It's Noah... Noah, a new performer on the stage, introducing herself to the world. She killed it. She killed it. Australia, finally getting a little bit of the do that they deserve on the Eurovision stage. This was not a cakewalk for her. And some people would like yeah. to make this victory seem as if she walked it. No, she she didn't, and and, and Sweden. BBC is right on crying. Is right on Let me just right say, now. let me just say, Sweden. There was a world where Sweden could have cakewalked this. There was a world Sweden could have cakewalked this. Okay, but that's not what happened. That's not what happened. I do like that we're going from one. Net, let's say the national colors are staying the same. We're going from blue and gold to blue and gold again. And Meltas better be on point next year. If Meltas is not on point next year. Well, let me tell you. Let me tell you this. Meltas honestly could be mid next year. Who cares? You're hosting Eurovision 2024. And honestly, after the display, the complacency of Ireland for years, Sweden deserves to tie with them for the most Eurovision Song Contest wins. And the winner with Cakewalk. 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 Now, I say this as someone who deeply wants Ireland 
to win again and maybe we can have a race i would love to have ireland show back up at the song contest can i just talk about the catalog of lorian can i just talk about the catalog do it girl do it girl she's gonna win she's going to get i hope i hope i pray the worldwide fame that she deserves deserves Look, I'm on hold with the BBC right now, and that's why I'm like, I have to get it together. I have to get it together. I also have been, I also have been holding my pee for far too long at this moment. Spain was last in the televote. By points, I think. Spain was last in the televote. I think he got like five points. No, it was fifth. goodness the people want Finland doesn't matter now <laughs> you still give 200 over 200 points to Lorien <laughs> I have to pee so hard pee so hard the BBC is killing me right now the BBC is killing me right now Cause I gotta go. Don't right, care guys. about the mom. If you cry more, maybe you won't have to pee as much. I'm so happy for her. I I'm am so too. happy for her. I am too. I'll be there. And I'm gonna say this. I, I like that too much better than I like Euphoria. So I want us to be there. It was so nice to meet you. No, I care about us. You. Oh my goodness. Honestly, I'm just, oh. Okay, we're hopping into this. Australia so finished ninth like three times now. Mm. If the jury did not vote, Finland would have won. I wouldn't have been mad at a finish win. Obviously. I wouldn't have been mad at that. Uh, Finn TGM should have trusted the odds. Odds obviously have connection with Martin Oster. I don't, I'm not into the conspiracy theories. Uh, Spain was artistic, but not for people to listen to every day. Spotify and things like that, so no public vote. Yeah, but aren't we looking at the show? Aren't we looking for the show? Um, Lorien was still top three in the televote. She is very much a deserving winner, even if this win was awfully predictable. Um, Bri Bailey, Germany didn't deserve left. I agree with that, but at least they didn't finish last with Nil You know what I'm saying? Look, I just, I'm going to end on this because she deserves this. Lorraine deserves, and I mean, it's not about deserving. All the all of the performers deserve this. Period. Yeah. Okay. But thank y'all so much for a wonderful Eurovision season. Don't be worried. I am going live this week because we're gonna break down what happened tonight. So it might not be a Eurovision 2023 state of play, but it is a Eurovision Song Contest state of play thank you so much for joining me in this experience i got it together y'all i got it together y'all i believe in you i believe in you eurovision fam. i got it together eurovisionfam.com thank you lily for joining us if you haven't already eurovisionfam.com if you are a eurovision fam uh or a eurovision fan living in a country that does not participate in eurovision so not just america but a Eurovision country or a Eurovision fan from a country that doesn't participate, you can join our team. You can join our yeah, team, and I'd love, to, would have love you. to have you. Also, yeah. um, we'll be streaming. I know the Eurovision fam stream is going to start in about 15 minutes. Yes. 
Yeah. Um, we'll also be shooting tomorrow, and tomorrow I'm going to be going down with my co-host Jordan, going over all the points over there, and have one voted. We'll be analyzing some stuff. Also, just go to EurovisionFam.com, guys, because it's Alicia's team, and we would love to have you guys join us. Oh, don't say it's my team. Eurovisionfam.com is a team of creators who have their own platforms. But if you want a space to write, if you want a space to create, if you want a space to collaborate, please come through. Yes. Eurovisionfam.com. Thank you all for a wonderful Eurovision season. I'm so grateful for you all. Thank you. If you're watching this on the replay, please like this video. Please subscribe. I'm here every year. YouTube, right here, where you're watching me. I'm here every year. I'm so appreciative for you. Thank you so much. Bye. We have a Eurovision winner.